Welcome to the Red Cup, man. We got a nice one tonight. We got my man J Mac, Jason Muscuri on. Jay Bryson, you know what I'm saying, and my man Charlie Mo. Jason, we want to first talk about man just coming up Montgomery County, man. Uh, just name some of the guys you, you just grew up with, man. Jay Bryson. I think the guys got you started, you know what I'm saying, and, and started your journey best, man. Just coming up Montgomery. I mean, you know, man, just uh, coming up, man. I was, you know, fortunate, so fortunate to play um, with a lot of dudes, uh, you know, from the city. Greg Jones, you know, Earl Tyson, Edward McQueen, Sammy Briggs, uh, those dudes, man. And uh, when I was playing with King, uh, at a young age, man, I was about 10, playing with uh, 11 and under, 12 and under. But, um, you know, of course, Steve Francis, you know, we grew up together, Jamal Hutchinson, first player. Those dudes, man, was can play with the best of them. You know, at an early age, we was, we'd always just, Rain, see the snow, we out there just battling, you know, working on our game, working on our craft. And uh, we were so close to the city. Now, Pox is called Park. Part of, his, part of it is D.C. So you got D.C., P.G., and Montgomery County because it's his own little city. So we was able to cross the lines and go play on both ends, you know. So that was a luxury of uh, being able to get talent, play with different talents. Well, I know coming up, man, like, when I, when I first saw you play, you know what I'm saying, Nate Peak always told me about you. And I just remember that conversation, man, when uh, Ken League joined. Oh, yeah. When uh, I just I just swore that you was with, you know, you was playing with Steve and all them. And when you was like, yo, man, I want to play against them Knicks. And that, to me, meant a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know how you got your crews want to play together. Yeah, I want to yeah. do this and that with it. You actually was like, man, let's, I want to play against them. Yeah. And... Damn show sure putting the motherfucking show up that motherfucker can. Oh yeah. I left that yeah. motherfucker like, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. And in the clutch, we gotta go to Jay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like yeah. shit. You know what I'm clean, clean it out, he going at it, then you know what I'm saying? Like then your love for the game out there, you just wanted to win tough and everything. I think that to me, that's what why I stay stay saying your name. Keep bringing your name Appreciate basketball it. conversations, man. You know what I'm saying? Like just from that one day. Yeah, the first day you came, you, you continuously played, you know what I'm saying, for us that season. But when that first day, when you was coming at tenacity, you was like, man, I want to play. And the way you was playing, man, 94 feet, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it was funny because you had a scout report on all of them. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. it, it, was, it was funny because he was like, he going to do this, he going to do that. You know, and to me, you know what I'm saying, every man, myself, you, you got you to gotta know this. You're your opponent. You, you know what I'm saying? Opponent, right. Yeah. Came That's out good. of that joint, man, and was boogie. And hey, Bryson, this motherfucker was boogie. In front of a motherfucking jam pack, full capacity joint. Yeah, they stopped yeah. the game. That's what that's what they're taking San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. twenty six in the first half. Man, they still sell. Saying. They still sell that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. He it, was, was it was epic, man. It was having it his way. Yeah, it was fun yeah. though, man. Burger uh, King have it your way. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, it was. It was, <laughs> it was def def definitely a classic. You went off about 60 that game. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we, 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 we was rocking. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we, we was rocking. We, we, we did some big that game. Yeah, he, yeah. We, we was rocking. Yeah, Steve went off too. Yeah. That was when he made Lonnie fall and then dunk that joke, man. They stopped yeah. the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember that. They stopped the game. I, 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 I remember that. It was jam packing that motherfucker, though. Yeah, man, but I think, you know, at, at, at that point, you know, uh, Steve and I, we had won so many championships down in Kenner. We even had one down Dunbar. Because mm -hmm. we played against, that one time we played against shot. I think we played against shot down Dunbar mm -hmm. in the championship. Mm -hmm. So we, we we had won a few albums. We won a college, then we won a um, pro. And, uh, and uh, you know, that year, man, I was like, you know what, man? Man, crowd, I'm trying to play with you. I'm playing with y'all this year. Yeah, I remember. You know what I'm saying? I remember that. So, you know, it was good, it was good man. It's, and I, I never forget, never forget those times. I think that's what really helped me to grow as a player and had an opportunity to, you know, go to Mason and, 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 and uh, mm -hmm. do well. You know, first team all conference, and, uh, and and move on up after that. You know, had a s s small uh, spent in the, in the NBA with Charlotte Hornets and bounced around. And I think a lot of it had to do with just timing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying for mm -hmm. me? But, mm -hmm. Always time. Yeah. But even going back, did you um, you know, at Blessman High School mm -hmm. before you migrated to MC? Mm -hmm. How was that process? Like, like how was the team? How did you rock out there? And then. What made you go to MC versus? I mean, because you kind of went the hard route. 
Yeah, you're my guy that went to junior college. So you went to a JC and yeah. made it to the league. So that's that's compelling in itself. The league is already one thing. Yeah. But you went to a JC. So Blair, MC. So how that whole little deal, whatever. I mean, a, a lot of it, of course, you know, unfortunately, you know, I, my SAT scores and everything wasn't mm -hmm. wasn't up to par. Um, and honestly, I don't think I was physically mature at that point either. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Coming out of high school, I had great ball handling skills, could shoot it a little bit, can pass, very competitive, but my physical strength wasn't there. Like, I grew a whole lot at Montgomery College. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I grew a whole lot, so I kind of matured into my body. So so all the skills that I had, now I can I can do it. Mm -hmm. Back then, you can, you can hold your man. You can put your right. hands. Yeah. Now, they mm -hmm. couldn't hold me no more. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's what happened to both Myself and Steve, we were little for so long, you know. They lost cause the little mosquitoes, you know what I'm saying? But um, how was it, that bumping the Merlin Juco? It, it, it was good, man. We played Allegheny, Hagerstown, you talking about powerhouses, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we went to the Nationals, you know, the Juco All American, and uh, had the opportunity to get a full scars for George Mason. Yeah. And when I played, matter of fact, that one year when I played now in Kenner. That's when all the all the big time D one schools was at, but I'd already signed with with, with Mason. With Mason, yeah, or yeah. signed with Mason. Gotcha. But you know, I was fortunate to play. You know, Hall of Fame coach Jim Nernagy taught me a lot, and uh, you know, he groomed me, and you know, just 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 showed me things outside of basketball, just how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, but you I had really the real running. I mean, like, what, I mean, oh yeah. Was, I mean, damn. <laughs> Right, the Mason, like, you know what I mean, just add water. We always, coaches sometimes, like when you get a kid from Juco, yeah. you want them to, you know, be ready to rock and roll, hit the ground running. You, obviously, you hit the ground running. Oh, yeah, I hit the ground running. And and, and it was, it, we go back a little bit, I was a little disappointed because when I first got to Mason, all my credits didn't transfer over. I got you. So I really only played a year and a half of, of, of I got you. Mason. People don't games, yeah, so 10, about 10 games. Yeah, about 10 games. People don't you. even yeah. really know that. So, um, I had to sit out because my credit some bull. So that that was disappointing. But once I played, started, went in. Yeah, he was good at that. Yeah, it still made second team all conference, was playing a half a year. And then yeah. the following year I came in, then I really, you know, turned it up to another level being first team all conference. Okay. And I tore both my hamstrings in college, but people don't know that. Oh, wow. I tore my right one and then conversating for my left, I tore my right one. So, you know, but I was still able to fight through. And Coach, you know, he's real particular about practicing, 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 practicing. And I couldn't practice and be effective in the game. Mm -hmm. So um, when, uh, when I just sit out and practice, he used to be mad. But I, I heard it. He had the San Antonio Spurs come out to my game to uh, watch me practice. And I was doing some sprints. And I popped that thing, man. And then, you know, I was leading the whole conference in scoring and assists at that time. Mm -hmm. And I told my hamstring I had to, you know, kind of just regroup and start over. But you used to get glass too, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, 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 he was a bird around. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 he was a bird around. That was how, how was it like? You know what I'm saying? Playing up there with uh, Larry Nigga, though. Good man. I mean, Besi was... besides getting that bag. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Sean Miller. I mean, uh, excuse me. Uh, besides hey, getting yeah. the bag. Nah, man. Shout out to Keith Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Co uh, uh, Larry Nigga was a, was a good dude, man. Real good dude. I mean, he was. They had him caught up in the little Miami thing, uh, but uh, it, it seemed like he skated through it, uh, but. He was just a real disciplined coach, man, that he taught me so much that you could apply, apply to life, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside of basketball, you know, and that's yeah. why I think I, <clears throat> I'm successful in other things that I do. Yeah. Just the passion and the drive and the will mm -hmm. and the determination just to, just, to, just to do well, you know what I'm saying? I always tell myself second place is not an option. You know what I'm saying? I always want to come in first, even though second place ain't bad. But if I tell myself I want to be first place, and, more than often, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who was the assistants of George Mason? Um, man, uh, 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 God, what's my man name? Uh, was Cherry there? Shout out to the yeah, assistant coaches. You only know his goddamn yeah. assistant. Shout out man, to, man, listen, shout man, out to, years, hey, yo, shout yeah, out to, uh, yeah. you gotta have that guy. Shout out to Jason's development. You got that guy, you do. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, Bill Courtney. Shout out to bro. Bill Courtney. Bill Courtney. Yeah. Bill Courtney. Bill Courtney yeah. and, uh, uh, he a local guy too. Right. Bill Courtney was the head coach of uh, Harvard or whatever. He, 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 he got he got yeah he got a head coaching job later on after, yeah, yeah. after I got out yeah. but he was um he, he was tough too right back in the day I think so think yeah but coach had him coach had him that was like he had to take you know watch me because I used I used to get in that little grandma key I was driving back in the day and head home man I'm <laughs> I'm down I'm going home uh, home park Maple Avenue my coach was mad but I was so close I used to be bored man yeah, you know what right. I'm saying I couldn't stay down there all day long but. Uh, Bill, yeah, Bill Courtney was a good dude. But, uh, Bill yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I wouldn't take any other route than I took, man. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I just had to, basically had to fight for everything that I got in life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I was proud of, you can say, maybe a, a, a late bloomer, so to speak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's just what it is. So, first team all-conference, right? Yeah, first team so all-conference. Yeah, yeah, coming out, what, what, what you got? What's going through your head right now? So, I'm going to tell you this little quick little story, man. So, um, I got invited to Portsmouth. Okay. Okay. And um, so, you got Portsmouth, Phoenix, and Chicago. Mm-hmm. Chicago being the last one everybody go to. So, my, I'm graduating. Steve is at my graduation. And then my coach called me. Um, said, I got some mail. And uh, had the NBA logo and all that. And it was saying that I was invited to Chicago. That's what's up. But this was after I played in Portsmouth. So you, so you, you, you earned yeah, that I shit. Be, I earned. Yeah. So I skipped Phoenix. So, you know, a lot of guys like Shante Rogers at the time, he went straight to Phoenix. Then Chicago. No, he didn't, get, he didn't get invited to Chicago. Oh, so I went to Portsmouth, skipped Phoenix, and then I went to Chicago okay. because of how well I played in, Phoenix, um, in uh, Portsmouth. And... I went to Chicago and was top 75 players in the nation. So now this is another, you know, goal that I reached that, you know, a lot of people probably didn't see it. But most I always had my eyes on the prize. Huh? I said, most people don't go to Chicago. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> don't see, no, there's only 75 players. At the time when I was coming, I was 75 players in the top 20 players in the country, not in the nation. I'm sorry, because the Europe guys came as well. Yeah, yeah. Right, you know, right. Mm-hmm. Back then, some of them participated, some of them didn't. Like Steve Burnham, they didn't participate because they was already high prospects, so they mm-hmm. weren't even going to play. Yeah. Of course, I played, went through the whole process, and, and um, was um, was projected to, to, to get drafted 31 and didn't get drafted. But, you know, after the draft, 10 teams called and I went to different camps. I had the yeah. opportunity to play with Larry Bird with Indiana. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I actually went to vet camp with, with the Charlotte Hornets. And I actually made the open roster. Okay. So that's how I was, was able to, to be there before I moved around a little bit after that. That's good. How long was you with Charlotte? I was with Charlotte maybe a few months, man. And I, um, <laughs> It made me sad when I told about this man. I, I actually got I got released um, because Eddie Jones plucked me in my head, and I got upset. You know what I know now? I might have let the dude kick me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but as a rookie, you know I didn't, I didn't like him anyway because <laughs> it, it, you know it, you know I'm, I'm I'm trying to like I said I'm trying to I'm going to any, any anybody and everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are. I'm coming at you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to eat. So we got our first. I never forget our first scrimmage, man. Well, not scrimmage. Our first open practice. Everybody there. Paul Silas is my coach. Okay. Yeah. So we doing one on one full court. Man, I did something big with, with Eddie Jones. Man, he screamed out. Ah, oh, screamed. Ah, oh, came out and shoot. Everything. Laid the thing up. He got mad. Talking about this vet, you know, and we say it's vet camp. You're not supposed to be da da da. Oh, you know, got, oh. Eddie Jones got mad. Eddie Jones okay, got okay, mad. Okay, okay. I thought you said the coach got mad. Okay. No, 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 no. Eddie Jones. No, Eddie Jones, Jones got no Paul Sops was actually laughing. Right. He was on the, he was on the side of laughing, laughing, yeah. laughing. So he came and said, "Man, you like, you know, I guess he was mad that I did kind of did that. But I mean, I mean, I know who he is, and I had big respect for him. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I'm trying to make the team. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So, um, so then after that. We kind of, we didn't kick it off that well, you know what I'm saying? And then took me to the barber shop, whatever. And Anthony Mason, my lock was right next to Anthony Mason, you know what I'm saying? Um, bless his soul. But he uh, he was like, man, Jay, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. So he was like, the, you know, the coaches, whatever, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, 
One time we was on the bus and he plucked me on my he plucked me on my head. No, he plucked me on the bus or the plane. Can't remember, but he said, "Pluck me on my head." And said, we'll go up front, rookie. And I just I kind of lost it, man, because I felt like, "What are you plucking me in my head for?" You know what I'm saying? But I guess that's part of it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I at that time I wasn't mature enough to just just to take the pluck and keep it moving. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, him being a franchise player at the time. Shit, Man, fuck that nigga, you should've stole that money. Nah, shit. That's funny, you shared that story because a lot of people don't know. Yeah, they don't. A lot of people don't know them stories on how. The hazing and shit. Yeah, when you when you go into them camps you and, and you're on them teams and how they treat rookies. Yeah. It's like you really, really, really got to go through some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You watch these movies and you hear and, and mothers pledging, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the shit they go through. You know what I'm saying? They actually put rookies through that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when you see these guys, man, it's like they they done went through a rack of shit to get where they, you know, where they at. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, right. And that's hard to do. You take all that bullshit ass punishment. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a man first before yeah, anything. Yeah, but you, you still gotta be a good team. Uh, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he shouldn't have been doing. He did that because Scurry fried him in the open yeah, gym, yeah. open practice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he took it personal. So he's he going, you know. I mean, it, 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 you it's can handle it different, but you still be like, damn, man, I don't fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah. but I, I kind of like drop my bag and I bucked at him a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, you know, you know, a few dudes, you know, they at the time, you know, they probably didn't really care for him as well. Yeah. So they kind of, I, I, I don't know, I want to say I kind of embarrassed him or anything like that. I mean, he's a bigger dude. He probably could have picked me up and threw me across the room. But mm-hmm. you know, I guess he wasn't expecting my reaction. You know right, what I'm saying, right, and right. how I how I how I went off. But you know, like I said, man, if I was a little more mature, I might have just took it and just you know, yeah. like you said, had what I had to say on my breath and kept it moving. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying. But so how was that NBDL and all that, like kind of doing that circuit CBA and all that? It was good, man. It was good. I, I mean, you know, I I kept getting into situations though, man, because you got a lot of egos, you know, people trying to make it, and mm-hmm. and um. You know, you playing against. I, I played against, played against with Sham God. I played against uh, with Kareem Reed. You know, these type of dudes. Yeah, Kareem? Yeah, yeah. yeah he he played with me in Richmond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that exactly. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Show, yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he, he, he so left. Yeah, he can, he can oh, go. Yeah. yeah, he can definitely go. Shark, shark and boogie. Yeah, he can definitely boogie. Yes, man. yes, he can boogie. Yes, he can. Look fast, 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 fast too. Ugly ass yeah. shot. Yeah. Nah, I don't know if he. I don't know if he ever had a child. I don't know if he. Nah, you talking about? You talking about? You talking about? No, you talking about? You talking about? Clary. Yeah, yeah. You talking about? Clary. It's Clary. You you talking about? Little show. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the lower level where yeah. you try to get at. And they treat it like that. Triple yeah, A. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially when you've been on that top level uh-huh. and you go down to that, you like, exactly. man, this shit ain't the same. Man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Per, per diem ain't the same. A lot of that shit. Oh, the man. Same. Yeah. <laughs> what about the wolves, though? Put it off. What about the wolves? What about the wolves? Yeah, uh, the wound was all right. Oh, the wound was going to be there. The, 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 yeah, the, the wound was going to be there. The wound was going to be there. The wound ain't different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, the yeah, wound is not stay. different. Yeah, yeah. That's going to never change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever, ever, ever. The wound still the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planes, trains, automobiles, right? Yeah, yeah. That's going to be the same. Was Europe ever an option? I mean, was that an option versus trying to get back to the. To the big show. Yeah, and I wish I, I wish I, I wish I would have did that. My, um, you know, I had the opportunity several times, but particularly when I first came out of college, I was offered two fifty off the t- off the break. You know, and that's you know back then that was a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of bread, yeah, yo. Yeah. Turned it down, and I, you know, like I said, my dream was to play in the NBA, and I and I did make the team that year. But um, what I didn't know. But what I should have done is a lot of guys when that happened they they automatically just go overseas, yeah. play, get the bag, get the bag yeah. and come right. back because yeah. ain't no difference to playing in the CBA because they still got mm-hmm. scouts over there too. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? At least I'd have been getting. Then we talking about twenty dollars, but then now mm-hmm. I'm getting 
you know, and the womb, the womb, the womb over there, Lord Devin too. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that form. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. The strange is different. <laughs> yeah, 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 crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up, though, man. You know, like back then, mm-hmm. uh, the OC's bike was, was was mean. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, it's it's. It's always NBA scouts over it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They, exactly. they people don't understand. It's actually NBA scouts that live in New York. Yeah. That, that's how these some of these that's how these guys are getting over here. Yeah. 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 Spanish do yeah. 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 One of my they agents. Over there. yeah. No doubt. Yeah. No. They're no. No. Foreign, no, no, no. Yeah. My agent work for the Bucks. Yeah. No. 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 Was a Buck scout. Yeah. yeah. That, that's how they do, man. And uh, it's funny you say that because you know we all look back and say could have did it that way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Whatever. But to still. Be successful in life, period. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. shit means a lot. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? And it's actually make a team, man. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's strong. Yeah, man. you know what I mean? Yeah. Come in, I seen, I never forget, man. I came, I'm a shot, I look, locker, I see my name, I'm 11, my name on the on, on my on the jersey, and I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. I said, man, it's crazy. My co learned nigga, they called me, and we, um, they, he said, uh, we coming to the game, we played. Matter of fact, we played against Indiana. See, I never mm-hmm. played with Charlotte in the summer league. I played with Indiana. Okay. So I could have went to Indiana. Indiana wanted me to go to vet camp too. Mm-hmm. They had Travis Best, Jalen Rose, but they were trying to get rid of Travis, Travis Best yeah, 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 yeah. that year. Mm-hmm. And um, Larry Bird, um, him and uh, Rick Carlisle. Was it Rick Carlisle? Yeah. Rick, Rick was over there. Rick yeah. Was he, was a, he was a coach. And um, the head scout, I forget his name, man. I was on the ground stretching. He came and tried to step on me. I said, man, what's wrong with your agents? Why would you go to Charlotte and not come to Indiana? They got, you know, they drafted Vernon Davis that year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was, what, second pick, second, third pick in the draft. Mm-hmm. Third pick in the Same draft. Steve come out, right? Yeah, he was third pick. Mm-hmm. Behind Steve. Held the brand Steve and, uh, and Bird. And I was like, they only had 15, and they kept 15. So I was all, almost automatically going to be on the team, which I didn't make mm-hmm. the team. But, um, you know, that was a great opportunity for me, too, that if I went to Indiana, because I actually played with them. I was actually underneath their system. You know what I'm saying? I understood how they how they got down, but you know, man, I, I for me, man, you know, I left it all on the court. You know what I'm saying? You know when I, cause I people don't even notice I went I went with Utah too. I played with Utah in in vet camp, and I hurt my back. So when I hurt my back, they weren't playing me. Keith McLeod, at the time, we going for the same position. They had Carlos Aurora, Raul Lopez, mm-hmm. the man who's playing oh, yeah. like, <laughs> like, what, year, what year was that? Ah, oh, man. Stockton retired yet? Yeah, he was done. Mm-hmm. Stockton was gone. Um, Roger Bell was there. Um, uh, what's my man went to do? Um, uh, Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Yeah, Boozer. yeah, yeah Boozer. Well, he was dead. Mm-hmm. And um, so... You know, they weren't playing me, so I, you know, I said, man, they probably going to release me. You playing against the Knicks. Mm-hmm. So I told I told the coach, man, look, never forget, man, Jerry Sloan, Tom O'Connor, general manager. I said, look, man, if y'all going to release me, just release me. Here, don't don't fly me back to Utah and then cut me. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. They won't put me in the game. Well, you know, they'd do some shit like they that. They would. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've been through it. You know what I'm saying? And I, uh, you know, but I played so well before that, you know, um, Know, doing the scrimmages and stuff before I got hurt, but still, I was like, Man, they probably won't release my put me in the game, you know what I'm saying? But I was still going through therapy and everything, so they went and talked for like 10 minutes, came back and said, Yeah, Jason, we know we'll release you. Da, 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 da. Man, I get home, man, I got phone calls ringing everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. These people putting the papers, I released myself. <laughs> oh, shit. yeah, man, like that, that was the that was probably the worst. Out of my whole career, just trying to get in and you know and stick, mm-hmm. that was probably the most hurtful. One of the most hurtful times that when I was playing summer league with Houston, but that was hurtful though because I was like, damn, did I really fuck up? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I should I but right. I, I should have said nothing. You know what I mean? Should mm-hmm. just flew back. Mm-hmm. But all the signs showed that you you done. But everybody went down. That all the point guards went down. Matter of fact, they went and got um, Howard Osley, who's to play with them before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That same mm-hmm. year. Man, if nothing else, I would have got a check for 50 something thousand dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, I never, um, to this day, man, when I talk about it, man, that don't. And then that people making comments like, oh, man, he was so stupid for that. Different people. And I was like, man, that shit, that shit bothered me a lot. 
bothered me a lot. You know so you played with Houston Summer League after that? Yeah, and I played with Houston after that. <laughs> so I think he, he know everything about me. Nah, that's that's DC yeah. Rick, man. Yeah. No, that, no, that, 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 that's lying that. ass Rick. That's lying ass. What the old Rick? Yeah. Yeah, I played with Lying ass? No. Nah, I played with him after that. Yeah, I played with him after that. Did real too. Played with, matter of fact, Patrick Ewing and uh, Ben Gundy. I need to holler at you about that game today, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Get a ball to Dirksen, baby. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I had the opportunity to play with Houston some league. And, uh, actually, man, I even got to take my really, really, really thought. Because, you know, Steve was there at the time. So, mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. I got the leverage of him. I remember. Yeah. They did what I had to do on the court. I remember I seen Vanderpool, matter of fact, Vanderpool. And Big Steve used to play with Merle. Yeah, yeah. He said, man, you made it. Even the conversation said, somebody, they don't pick up. Somebody picking up and scared. And, and I wasn't out there scoring a whole lot of points. I was just, when I got in the game, if we if we up 10, we going up 20. If we down mm-hmm. 7, we going up 5. So I was just, you know what I'm saying? And I, I actually started after the first two games. They had a um, dude from, uh, uh, from Fresno State. They had grabbed the year before. I forget his name. Not Ray for what? No, no, we're not Ray for um White dude? Nah, black oh. dude, man. He was from, I think, from Compton, too. Uh, point guard? Mm-hmm, point guard. We both 6'4", six, 6'5", six, point guard. Uh, Tito Maddox. Fresno. Tito Maddox? Was it Tito Maddox? It might have been Utah. No, yeah, Tito Maddox, yeah. What the heck was this dude? Keep, uh, keep, nah, I keep, nah. Mm, I forget his name. But Fresno. Yeah, he went to Fresno, but he, we, 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 uh, we, um, so I actually started and started, started in front of him. I thought I was going, I actually flew back with Patsy going to on the plane. I said, yeah, Pat, how do this? And now, Jason, you did well, ooh. But at the time, you know, Van Gundy didn't like Steve. Right, 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 right. So now, oh. another fucked up, but, uh, uh, Bob. So that kind of fucked you up. Exactly. Yeah, knowing you, knowing you and Steve cool. Exactly. We cool. We got the same agent, mm. you know, and. You know, they always just say, man, you, every time you go away, you get into something, da da da, CBA, because I used to hate this shit. You know, I used mm-hmm. to hate going to CBA. Yeah, shit was terrible, yeah. man. I'm my, this is worse than playing it up at home. Where we fucked up with you go? Man, fucking yeah. Chicago, <laughs> bad cold as a motherfucker. Small ass pedal. All that shit. Oh, pedal oh, plane. Shit. Well, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know? Rah, rah, rah. Exactly. Rah, rah. I'm scared of that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? Hit yeah. yeah. a mountain of shit type yeah. shit. So they, they cut the, um, but that, 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 that's, funny, that, that's funny you saying that shit because you know a lot, a lot of people. You, you got a lot of people like man, go to the CBL, go. Mother's you know, you know, go, play CBL, right? Because uh, motherfuckers don't know that 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 shit back then was was it was like you was being punished, man. Yeah, if definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you being punished, yeah, man. Definitely feel like to get what you need. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to go through that book and, and everybody, the NBA. Was, was the CBA was really not the 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 feet of league for the league for real. It was, you was suffering in that motherfucker. Yeah, it was definitely tough. To you know what I'm saying? Out. I mean, well, that shit was like Gilligan's Island. And then Gilligan. you had to worry about the motherfucker coming down from the NBA. <laughs> yeah, no practice, just come down, yep. boom, he good. Yeah, exactly. You, you got to worry about me. Oh shit, here with this bullshit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, it, it, it's it's good that you that, that you're talking about right. that, man, to let people know. Cause when you when you on the streets at home, you come on for the something, man. You should, man. Y'all niggas really just don't know how this shit is. Right? Nah, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? They 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 think that shit sweet for real. Nah, you know what I'm saying? It ain't sweet at all. Man. No sir, it ain't sweet at all. You ain't you ain't playing, staying in the best hotel. Mm-hmm. You know, your redeem ain't right. You're living out your bag. Right, living out your bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you said, they got dudes come down from NBA and they expect to go right in because they like, okay, well you need to go down there for ten games to come mm-hmm. back. So you not, you know, you you in a you in a popcorn machine, man. You just bouncing back and forth, and you really can't find your identity. So it, you know, for me, it was difficult. I would get out of there. Mm-hmm. Peace. I'm out. I did it a few times. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, the, matter of fact, Dennis Johnson. Now he got into it. And um, that's when I was with Sham God. Man, I just, you know, it it, it it was a difficult situation than experiencing the NBA and then going to the CBA. I mean, I'm telling you, when I say it was horrible, it was really like a punishment. Mm-hmm. It's almost like you're in a third world 
country trying to survive. You know, you know, yeah, yeah, definitely. You're in the worst city. You're in the matrix, yo. Yeah, you can't, matrix, you can't nah. get out. Nah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no, they barely got barbershops out there, out there man. <laughs> but they be selling dreams, man. I always felt like the CBA, a lot of cats would get caught up in the matrix. And if they jump out and try to get to the European thing, you know what I mean? Sometimes they might miss the boat on yeah. the level of money they can get. And even yeah. though the bump was good in the CBA, the bump was definitely an official bump. But you getting stupid, crazy, good bump in Europe, too. But it's just the money way better. You know what I'm but saying? You, but you know what's so crazy, though? It's funny because back then the CBA was actually more political than the NBA. Yeah. And what I'm saying by that, because... I was in Sioux Falls, right? Boogie, j j j just in practice. Fli flip signs from a coach. Okay. This one, I, I mean, I, I, that's why I said I didn't actually play in the scene. I was in camp. Okay. So, Daryl Dawkins, rest in peace. My, 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 my man, good dude, real good dude. So, we had, we had, we in like our last couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got 15 motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So, I never get this day, Joe. We, we, we at the hotel. Downstairs eating. Daryl Dawkins come to me. We sitting down. Boom, boom. So what's the boy's name? UCLA. Dirk Martin. Mm -hmm. Point God dude. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Boom. Love it. So Dirk had no camp, nothing like, like nothing. And it came like the last couple of days. You know what I'm saying? And Daryl Dawkins told me himself. He said, he said, young fella, I'm telling you right now, this the guy they want. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you good, but you end up backing them up. I don't give a fuck. What you do in practice, yeah. they sent him to here to yeah. tune this yeah. shit up yeah. and call him up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I advise you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever opportunity you got to go over that water, because, you know, scouts come to practice and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had motherfuckers, we had France motherfuckers, Spain, everybody just, just, just in camp. Because they want the guys. Yeah, they want them. They yeah, want yeah, the yeah. guys that, that might get released, or they want the guys that might not get a lot of playing time. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, dogs was like Slim. I, they, they, that, that's what they want right there. He said, Shorty, you out playing every day. Don't worry about that part. He said, but that's their guy. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I learned that shit from him. And I seen that shit. You know what I'm saying? So the, the motherfucker next day, I just dip. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't even want to go through the bullshit. Oh, man. Nah, I ain't fuck that shit. Because it, 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 that shit was more political than NBA back then. You know what I'm saying? You had CBA guys, you had CBA guys that I know that I played with yeah. in a couple of leagues, man. They got stories that you can't fucking believe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mother's averaging 30 at a time. Can't get the call. Then, nigga get down from the NBA, go down to the CBA. Motherfucker asking 30, money ain't play. Yeah. Because this is an NBA dude, they trying to get him a look to get him called back up. You know what I'm saying? But these are the things that guys go through, man, that, that the, the, the people don't even fucking know about, Slim. Yeah. But then I'm like, you should have did this. I don't, y'all don't even know how this shit work. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't know how that shit works, Slim. That shit. Yeah, I've been to that shit. The I lived that shit. Yeah, I know how that crazy. shit is. You know what I'm saying? Living out your motherfucking bag. It's you know, upsetting. All that it's shit. It's upsetting. And you be like, man, I could be home with my yeah, friends, man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I'm not. I'm they not. They drive you to do that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going through this shit, man. And, right. and you know right. what I'm saying? Then, and then, and then you going through. You know, you you. The flights and all that, and then you got a dude coming bumping, and then you just sitting there like the fuck I'm getting up and doing this every day. If I'm mm -hmm. not going, let me, I'm going home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I was, I wish I was smart enough to go get that money though, because mm -hmm. like you said, they want those tier players to come over there because Hell, now you yeah. the you the man, you the bubble guy. Hell, yeah. You'll be good. Hey, you got the NBA shit behind you. you got the NBA, so you got, the NBA oh, yeah. shit already going to make your your your, your, mm -hmm. your bread on a. Different level, any fucking way. Mm -hmm. Any, there you go. It don't even matter. Yeah. You can play one fucking second and mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, gonna pay. Yeah, they're going to pay. They ain't shit behind yeah, your yeah, name, yeah, Joe. That's your own name, Joe. You also got to look at the other side of it. Like, you complaining, mm -hmm. right? But there's another guy who love to be in your spot. Yeah. I mean, you, you right there, real close to that position that you want to get back into. So you like, dang. But I know it's, it's, it's a point where you can't take it no more. Yeah. But you, you fight for a minute. You're like, damn, I can get right back up there. Mm -hmm. And then you see what's going on. It throws you off. 
And, but, and, and so like, like Jay said, it's still like, I, I definitely can yeah. get with what Jay's saying. And, and it's your mentality. It's, it's like, you know, I, I always, I always, I'm, um, my junior college coach always told me this, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Rest in peace just passed last week. Lee Porter, out of Compton. Oh, okay. Every athlete that that's popular, that can do what they do as a bad motherfucker, it's it's a sense of urgency with them. You know what I'm saying? It's not about it's not about it's about how you actually go about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. like Jay said, man, he wanted to get you that, that top, that yeah. motherfucking lead. Yeah. That's right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't fucking with this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But it it's bullshit to us, but it ain't bullshit to a motherfucker that, that that's never doing the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's their shit. They like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing. It's some guys that made careers just playing in minor leagues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, what I'm saying? Like, sure. never, never even had intention of going up to the big to the yeah. big league. They loved it too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, Chris Chubb. When, when you when you when you, when you right there, nah, he, he when you up. right there, Jeff, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Up. You ain't he, trying to you ain't yeah, trying to hear that shit. I'm saying he was killing us. You know what I'm saying? When you right there, you ain't trying to that bullshit. Nah, nah, Chris Chubb. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to hear that bullshit. Then you trying to boom. Do you know what happens a lot of times is? And I talk to guys about this, like, if you look at stories back in your days, like the Mario Ellis and guys like that, that made it from the CBA, yeah, yeah, yeah. and people start thinking, well, anybody could have did exactly. it. You know what I'm saying? They don't get there yet. He anybody made, can't do that and, and that's what people, and that's you know the part, and that's the part I try to tell, like, these guys to say, well, kids go D3 and all this stuff. There's certain positions you got to be in mm -hmm. to yeah. make it. Certain that, people got to like you. The coaches, that, too. But that's a great example. That, the coaches, that, that's, yeah. I'm gonna give my, that, that's a great example because I can use my brother as, as, as an example. You know what I'm saying? You know, when swim with the Celtics, you know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, it's a little situation happened, boom. He come right back in the flow. Boom. He went in that motherfucker CBA, walked right in that motherfucker. Yeah. Like, yeah. with muscle, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Muscle, like, do your thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Smith played about a few games, went right yeah, back up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he looked at them like, I'm on some other shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, y'all motherfuckers just, yeah. I, I, ain't trying, I ain't trying to be right here. Yeah. But you already got that stamp on you. Yeah, but that that that, that gives a, any player going to have the confidence. It's, 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 you, you going never like that? Man. Man. Look, I done been here. Yeah. I ain't. I, yeah. Look, man. I ain't. Mm -hmm. And ain't they, they treat you different? Yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Your, yeah. co your coach, your mm -hmm. coach. Everybody know you coming. So when you get down there, you already got word. It's mm -hmm. like going there, and get a few buckets for a few games, yeah. and come back up. So you're like, mm -hmm. all right, cool. You ain't thinking about. Damn, who coming behind me? Mm -hmm. or, you know what I'm saying? That can play psychological mm -hmm. play. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. it's, 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 it's nothing on your back you got to worry about. Nah. Yeah. You know, the back. only thing you can do is, is not play well. That's right. it. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's fuck that up. But you know, even even in the fucking USBL, Joe, summer league shit, it was like that. No, you know, that, that, like, the USBL, yeah, Joe, yeah, like the summer yeah. league shit was the same way. Mm -hmm. If your shit was yeah. so totally officially stamped, you ain't think about all these niggas that's trying to make the band, yo. Real it's talk. It's, 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 it's funny. Niggas trying to make the band, yo. So you ain't even it's thinking so about that shit. You said that, right? Yeah, because yeah. you take the USBL for an example. You know what I'm saying? It's funny you said it because everybody wasn't getting the same motherfucking check. Fuck no. no. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you couldn't yeah. tell nobody what the nah, fuck nah, you was getting. Nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, you, nah, I remember you, that shit. You play that shit all, like, ah, yeah, you know. <laughs> then, then you gotta just play dumb sometimes. Yeah, like, man, this is bullshit ass. Game, you know what I'm saying? Right, yo, you remember yeah. that? Being in the hotel. Hey, look, I'm talking about dudes' rooms they paid. Yo, you know what I'm talking about? It's crazy shit, yo. Hey, I'm talking about you know crazy shit. And then when you can demand, when a team call you, you can sit out for a little bit. A team might call you and say, well, I want money up front. All oh, this, yeah. nah, because all that, I, I want my shit mm -hmm. now before I can boom. Now get off this motherfucking plane. Give me my shit. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody can't do that. Nah, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't do that. Nah, I just see that shit happen right in front of my eyes. Yeah. They be like, man, demanding this shit, man. Mm -hmm. I played with Jeff McGinnis. <laughs> and Jeff McGinnis. That's my name. Too shady. Yeah. yeah. Funny motherfucker yeah. there. That's my old man. Man, man that's a shot. Yeah. Listen, good dude, though. Yeah. That was my yeah. man. That was my man. That was my man. He got called up, man, and shit. Right after 
and right after I played with him, he got called up and was in the league for about game there seven, eight mm-hmm. years. Started for about three. Mm-hmm. Okay, the Wizards gave him a ten day, right? The Wizards were the first ones to call him up. He yeah. might have got a ten day, but then he then he yeah, he might have got two of them, but then he he stuck with somebody. Go go to Portland. state with somebody, Portland or somebody. Yeah, he, and he, he, started. He, he played a few years. With yeah, no, he played yeah. solid. Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland, that's yeah, what yeah. Cleveland. Mm-hmm. solid. Like he was out there yeah. starting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But 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 he was a good dude, man. He was a really good dude. But yeah, yeah. you know, people like that, you know, some some of them. But he he had that mentality though. First of all, I'm not even put my man minutes out there, but he was yeah. fried every game. <laughs> Roll up, yeah, yeah. Jim. Roll listen, up. But listen, but that's how that's what made him play that way. Yeah. He played so well under that yeah. circumstance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was out there getting it done. He was getting triple double. And it was nothing flashy. Yeah. I mean he couldn't nah, do, he don't do Oh nothing man, flashy. I, I don't even think he had a cross, but he just <laughs> he just was he just knew he know he was smart, he was tall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So McGinnis? Yeah. yeah. yeah he ain't no cr- I know he know Randolph got one though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know he know Randolph got one. Good God yeah. almighty. He put his name in a mixing yeah. bowl. Yeah. 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 The, yeah, the mixing bowl. Yeah, that that was uh yeah, McGinnis was tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was definitely he was definitely tough, man. I mean those he went in the league, he was like, I ain't because he got drafted. Second round. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. But I think yeah. what I think what ended up happening was Rod Strickland got hurt and was out for a while and Wizards signed him again. He played real yeah, well. Yeah, he he did. And then after that, yeah. he stuck in the league for a long time. He did. Shit. He did. He did. He stuck in the league for a long time. Yeah. There's a couple of dudes, man, um, that I was, you know, forcing to play with, mm-hmm. play against it, that really that re- really made it, man, and improved itself. And I was proud of him, man, because yeah. I was always I was always I'm on the cool with everybody. But a lot of guys I was with, you know, cool yeah. with. I remember one time in the CBA, man. Man, me and Mark Davis. Man, big Mark Davis played with 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we got into it, man. It was my roommate. Hey, Mark, that right? crazy motherfucker. Listen, we got into it. Listen, listen, listen. You, you know, Bo. Listen to me, Bo. We got into a big beef. In a, I told you, big beef. I chased a nigga around. I chased a nigga through the gym with a broom. He threw the ball. He threw the ball on the swung, trying to hit me. Man, we that job, man. I ran across it, got a broom, chasing a nigga around the broom. They grabbed me. The next day, th- now this is my roommate too now. So I got to go yeah. back to this big 6 8 nigga room, right? <laughs> man, Vic, Vic come and play. We played them the next. We played oh, them like man. a couple days later. So Vic got word what happened, right? Uh, Scurry, hey, come here. What happened? So I tell him the story. I said, nah, it's all good. I'm, I'm out of here, man. Cause I ain't, you know, cause I already had issues um with with with, with uh you know, I think I think Dennis Johnson was there with Sham Dog okay. there, right? Man, Vic went off, man. I know people's mad. So I had to tell him, said, nah, Vic, calm down. You good, it's good, it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right, mm-hmm. you know. That ain't the video they got Vic. Nah, he did that was something he did before <laughs> he did that before the Vic chased him around the whole jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I just chased him halfway, they grabbed me, you know. I mean, you know, that's I the homie that's the homie looking out though. Yeah, man. yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's my man. Yeah, I mean yeah. to this day. I mean, I was with Vic yesterday, so that, you know the homie looking out, man. Good, mm-hmm. good, good dude, man. Like, I know about getting out. chased from a guard, so I, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah and you got you know, and like I said, <laughs> who chased you? Who chased you? Who chased you? <laughs> Shout out to AJ English. <laughs> AJ English? Hey, AJ, hey crazy, listen, sir. Crazy, 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 hey, I pray with AJ. AJ crazy as a motherfucker, Joe. AJ crazy as shit. I'm talking about when I say crazy, Joe. Right? But guess what? I had to, Joe. Oh, hey, look. Man. We, look, we're the red covers. Time out, time out. We ran. Hey, the red covers now, uh, we, we, we are hiring... <laughs> for six, nine, six, ten motherfuckers that hey, don't run from guards, motherfuckers. Suckers on shit. Rant, you know how, like, you know, it was a competitive in practice and shit. Yeah. We out turkey and shit, right? Yeah. He on a different team. He talking shit. I'm talking shit. We talking crazy shit. But he a guard, but we, mm. whatever. It's mm. competitive to the motherfucker, right? Yeah. In some kind of crazy ass way. I don't know what happened at the free throw line in practice. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but I two pieced him. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He goes, my dude. Hey, AJ, give me a call. You, you just randomly two piece them? We got into it, man. Oh, okay. So so instead see. of, you know, talking yeah. about no, it. You, 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 you two piece Instead of talking about it, boom, boom, boom. Two piece in the ring. He dipped. You hit him in the ring. He dipped. So we still in the gym, right? He went, the weight room was right there, you know. He came out with a motherfucking dumbbell and, you know, the shit from the weights. Chasing me, yo. I had to get him out there, yo. Real yeah, shit. We had to have a meeting the whole time. Oh, so I know about that. a guard fucking chasing you with some Fuck shit. Fuck all this. That's crazy. You two beasting, right? Yeah. Okay. 
You snuck. You're not gonna yeah. snuck. I can yeah, call him asking this shit. That's my, that's my ninja. <laughs> oh, nay, 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 nay. Yeah, that's my teammate. Okay. Hey, his, son, his son was like that too, Joe. Yeah, but you did too, Yeah, you're real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Hey, AJ English can get a hey, bucket. Yes, what, off the glass, Joe. So, hey, look. Off hey, runners, hey, snap. Runners off the glass, yes, Joe. AJ. Runners. Runners off the glass, Joe. Man, listen. Yeah, you watch him. Off the glass. Nah, he cool. He cool. He cool. I got he cool. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm gonna call you right after show. Look at Mark Lawrence over there. <laughs> Roscoe. Yeah, Listen, he had fifty or few times with me. I ain't a bad motherfucker. No, what? Yeah. He played the league out of Virginia Union, didn't he? He was, 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 was the ball. He was the ball. He was the ball. He was the ball. It falls back on what we were talking about when me and AJ played in Richmond at IBL. And he was like camp. Yeah. AJ was like, fuck this shit. Yeah, he he was he was man, he I mean, man. I ain't, man. Yeah, he ain't he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's like he's like man I, man I man we we get it when we get this show he good you know what I'm saying so I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm like I can't yeah, do that that's shit. my nigga too yeah. you, know, you know that's how it saying? go hey, it's uh, like nigga don't worry about nothing we good let me ask you a question did you play with the light skin dude I can't remember his name light skin dude about six seven. play with Richmond too you talking about man uh, uh, he from Richmond yes you talking about. Uh, Listen to me. Ah, he, I'm t- you know him. T- oh, man. Oh, man. I can't. Kendrick Moore. Yes, my Kendrick man. Moore. Yeah. Hey, bad motherfucker. Bad motherfucker. Yeah. 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 He was there. Kendrick Moore. Finish this around with a break. Yeah. Had cool packed mother- everything. Cool motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. 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 BC, yes, bad motherfucker. Kendrick Moore. Man, yeah. Slim. He played with me too. You came right after me, bro. Yeah. Nah, I can't. Oh, right before me or right after me? We was before. No blue. No blue. We were the. No blue. We were the inaugural season. Okay. When Abby your first thought. Okay, that okay, came no, out. And then you came, yeah, you came out. Okay, yep. No blue. Yep, no, no bullshit. Because mm-hmm. Michael Adams, um. Hey, Bo, no blue. I, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ran from a god. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Michael, yeah, Michael, yeah, Adam, Michael Adams actually, like, looked out for me. You know okay, what I'm saying? He was okay, like, look, yeah, yeah, come yeah, down, yeah. I'm beat, boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, uh, and actually, I wrote with Mike Dunnett. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then. Was Ralph Sam there with you? Ralph, Ralph, Ralph was there. Ralph didn't start coaching until Bristol was the coach. Alan Bristol was the head coach okay. first. <laughs> Ralph started coaching like when, when Bristol had left. Okay, see, I definitely yeah, came yeah. Because yeah. we, 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 it, it was the Ralph. first year they had it. You know what I'm saying? Boom, yeah. boom. The black and dude won the lottery. Was the like, well, he hit the motherfucking lottery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, the goddamn yeah, team. Yeah. Yeah. And was setting that motherfucking bag out, Joe. No, bu- no bullshit, Joe. That's just the first time I seen Ralph Sampson in person. That motherfucker tall and shit for real. <laughs> <laughs> he for real tall. Hey, hey, None of his suits fit. No, no. no. Hey, Joe, I walked that motherfucker one day. I said, this motherfucker tall and shit. Super tall. Joe, no bullshit. Shit. And shit. Yeah. He was cool, though, man. That was my yeah. man. Yeah. That was Ralph Sanders. And, and R- cool. R- Richmond was a good little town, too. Yeah, Richmond was a good little town. I love Richmond. Yeah, Richmond was a good little town, man. Nice little town. Yeah, yeah. good little town, man. Good, good, good. There's some good wound in Richmond, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's some good wound in Richmond. Yeah, real, yeah, real, real. Yeah, I never, I never forget, man. We played, and it was a hard. T- Let me tell you something. Yeah, you ain't asking me, but I'm gonna tell you before you ask me. Some of the toughest dudes I've played against in my life. One of them had to be only five, three, five, two. I don't know how tall. I'm not. Sean Sean tells yes, fuck him, man. Little motherfucker, strong as shit, wasn't he, man? Hey, man, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hated playing against that nigga so much. It took me a minute because people don't understand. He this low to the ground, but he was so fucking strong, strong man. Shit. Strong I'm strong talking about he was strong as shit. Yeah. Like, you could feel his presence. Like, if he bumped you, like, he might bump you and you'll lose the ball. That's how strong he was. I mean, he was leading. He was, he was, his senior year, man, he was averaging like 26, damn near eight assists, and damn near four steals a game. Yeah, sure, man. Man. His senior year in Dual Boss. Nah, sure, man. Nice. He was, and could shoot it. Cooking. Man, nah, not, 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 not only shoot it, he got he had range, range on that with motherfucker. It. Oh man, that was my yeah. thing. Till I got used to him, man. I had to get really used to him. Like I played him for so much after a while. Could play them cards, play them down the down down uh down the kennel. Mm-hmm. And then we when we played with Richmond, they had the Baltimore team. Kirk you know, Lina, I think yeah, Kirk Lina, yeah, 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 Baltimore yeah, team. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then I got used Your to him. Kirk Lee, that's my motherfucker. Man, man. <laughs> shoot motherfucker. Good dude, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Feel his feelings. Man, Slim, I want to know that motherfucker. He, he, he made sure. Yeah. He's like, sure. He said, man, keep your money in your pocket. Yeah. That nigga was like Jordan over there. How was that wound over there, Feeling, man? Extremely, extremely. Wound <laughs> <extremely, extremely, laughs> night, huh? Extremely. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Shantae was the time. And Shantae, shorty, shorty, man. Shorty was really boogie, man. That little he little got, fun, he man. got a bag. Now, listen, he done. He said for life. Him, Louis Bullock, them mm -hmm. type of dudes, they just said, fuck they, them. They, 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 they shoot. They shoot. They shoot. They shoot. They shoot. They shoot. They Cooking. Cooking, but not only that, he like the man over that motherfucker, man. Mm -hmm. He got real estate. He had everything. Then he had commercial. You know, the, the, the what is it, the Ferrari, the Mercedes. I mean, not for like one of them yeah, Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was in all the commercials, man. He was on TV commercials. They love yeah. that man over there. That's all how your man is in um, France. Uh, what's your man's name? When the, um, when the wait. First, he was cooking down mountain. Delaney. Yeah. Delaney. Yeah. Delaney. 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 Oh, man. He, he was in France with me for years. Yeah. 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 He the, he the man over that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you look back, man, you like, damn, man, I could have stole some money. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, took a better route, man, but, you know. Them gods, shit. you know what's crazy about the gods? Because, like, when you come to, like, when you talk about positions, right? Yeah. You got combo gods, you got forwards, you got, you know, the uh, bigs or whatever, right? Yeah. But, like, in Europe, American guards were not a dime a dozen. Like anybody else, kind of a dime a dozen. You yeah. can almost get any type of fit in uh, terms of like Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but when true. it came to the American like point guards, like when they were good, they were just good and got a lot of money. Yeah, huh? they did. Mm -hmm. they got you know what I'm saying? Because all the American point guards that I played with, they were just too good. It was too. E it was like too easy. Like that's why. Mm -hmm. And I used to mess with Bone all the time, right? And I used to be like, Joe, you need to come get this bread. Like. Yeah. It was would have been so extremely. It would have been funny. It would have been That's funny. True, like like Bone, you would have been over there, right? No, kind of like any other level you played on, how you played, but then it's over there. But then they like you so much, they giving you five, six, seven hundred thousand a year. My man, That's my like, it's man. laughable. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, and I mean this, man. Four, in five, all sincerity, Joe. Months, right? I'm talking in all sincerity, and I, I mean this in no bullshit, Joe. Like. Y'all were the anomaly. Like, American guards, you didn't really... Like, American guards went over that motherfucking thing. El, the Elmer Bennett's of the world. The fuck, I can name yeah. Daryl Armstrong yeah. when he went on to the league. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about every little guard I played with, cast out, Joe. Yeah, I, can believe I, I mean, completely no, cast no, out. No, no, no doubt about it. And even with your brother, he, I oh, played man. against him several times a year. Man, screw that It was laughable. I'm <laughs> seeing him. We just rapping. Cooking. It's yeah. cool to just, you know, see you playing against somebody, but they're they from the crib. Yeah. But it's just still laughable. The money they're giving him, he coming in for a short-ass amount of time. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 get and, you know, and I didn't yeah. talk about his money, mm -hmm. but, you know, stupid shit. No, 30, I, 40, I, I 50 thousand dollars a month. That's what I'm talking about. For a short amount of time, you Joe, like. You about his money. I'm just saying, man. I'm, like, man, 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 man. I'm just saying, Joe, like. Silly shit, man. And so that's why, like, the guards, no, you, man. No, you guards cash out on them motherfuckers, You speaking some real shit. Yeah, and, 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 and Coach Rob. Guards crash out. My nigga. That's, that's the only thing I really, I can really say that I regret that I didn't, that I didn't do. Mm -hmm. I could, I could have, even if it was three, four years, I could have stole some money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And might have really loved it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like Spain, you can do yeah. some really nice places, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I would have went over there. And just, you know, had a ball, man. But I, like I said, man, I think it was just a mature thing. Me want to play in the NBA and, 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 and lost that opportunity, man. But if I, if I can, you know, teach any of my kids or any of the you know, kids in my camp or whatever the case may be, go get that money. Because at the end of the day, that's what it was, what it was about. Yeah. I got to ask you this, though. Like, in that process, right? Uh -huh. and I'm just thinking about my own process, right? Um... What was your agent saying? Like, did he ever, was that even, like, did he, was he, did he even remotely push you to that shit? Or did yeah, he push he you did. to the CBS and dog you yeah. right there? Yeah. Or did he even say, like, look, and was, like, a realist about the shit? Or? Well, what, 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 this, honestly, to be truthfully, I was pushed on, it was times when he was like, go get the money. Then it was times, it was like, you know, stay here, you're right here. Don't, you know, don't move. But, with me being discouraged from the CBA and IBL mm -hmm. bullshit, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like it was tough to focus, man. Because then you might see a dude that get caught and get this money. You know you better than them. So man, now you, you like, this is your mind playing tricks on you. Man, you, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. you just, and it's like, mm -hmm. it's like how, it's like, you feel like you're hopeless. Like, you can't get in. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, there was two moments when I was with Utah. If I'd have waited out, anything could have happened. You know what I'm saying? If I'd have just flew that, flew back. You know what I mean? Because I was a player that I felt that once I got in and got comfortable and played, I've been good. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. What's my man from the UConn? Uh, 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 Ali, Ali. Like Ali, Ali, you know somebody. Ali, 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 Ali. I think Ali played. Cam Ali played with him. He was my teammate. Cam Ali played for every team in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chucky Brown. Because of just just he got his foot in the door. Cody Massenburg. And Brunson. Brunson. Massenburg. Yeah. Yeah. Chucky Brown. Chucky Brown, I think I read. Chucky Brown played with 2017. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 no, but that's, I mean, that's just, at least you, at least you, listen, I'd rather fucking get cut from New York and go to Phoenix, then get Phoenix to go to LA, then to fucking be in the CBA and, and, and got a full, you know, six o'clock in the morning catching early flights. And dumb shit, not even really getting your money like you're supposed mm-hmm, to, mm-hmm. then to be able to keep going to different NBA teams. That's fine. That's part of it. That's part of the struggle. You're used to going through that struggle all your life. That ain't going to bother you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but for me, I, I mean, you're right. I wish I would have went and got some of that money over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think a lot of it was timing because even with that Duke, that Houston, that Houston thing with Steve, man, I swear on my life, if, 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 uh, What's my man, Rudy T? If Rudy T, did, yeah. if he did not leave that team, he, he would step down. He was he, no, no, no. He stepped down. down. He, he stepped, stepped down. down. Okay, all right. Okay, because that's how I actually got on the summer league team because I was I go I, I was flying to Houston playing against Penny Hardaway, playing against um, Van Nexel and Stoudemire, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and getting that getting that real work. So they was like, oh man, you know, because Steve was telling about you know. We on our team. You on our mm-hmm. summer league team. Mm-hmm. So now I'm on the summer league team. He stepped down. Van Gundy come in. You see what I'm saying? So now I'm fighting against the odds again. It's a whole nother, You see what I'm saying? A whole nother situation. It's a whole nother. It's like a, a whole, whole nother animal. It's a whole nother team. It was a whole nother situation. A whole basically. nother situation. At the, at the same situation. At the same situation. Because, damn, it, because Houston kept three guards. I got you. Tito Maddox. Sean Costa. Uh, you know, Mushi was already there with Steve. Uh, uh, T.A. Brown. You know, Sean, I mean, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Tito Maddox was a dude that, that was his name mm-hmm. that, that I was in some league with me from mm-hmm. Fresno State. So I'm playing, I took Tito's spot. So I'm thinking, damn, I'm going to fat camp. I'm mm-hmm. going to fat camp. Flying back with Titus Union, you know, make them call me and say, Jay, you did well, man. You know, they, they talking highly for you. So they was like, man, you made it. Boom. People ain't bring me to camp. So now, pissed. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. like, damn. Why the fuck I ain't just, you ain't just bring me to camp. I mean, bring me to camp. Cut me in camp. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I played well for you to bring me to camp. I, I took you. How you get the bag when you go to camp? Yeah, you get a little bag. You know what I'm saying? For going to camp. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a cra- that's how crazy it is. A little light. Just up. because. A little light. This, 15, 20,000 yeah. real quick. <laughs> just because this man didn't like. 50, man. They didn't like. Yeah. Yeah. 50, man. At the time. 15. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and recently, a couple of years ago, you, you all probably saw when he apologized. About how he treated Steve back then, mm-hmm. because he wasn't used to no type of. He had Charlie Ward, Chris you know, Chris Child, yeah. them basic type guys. Mm-hmm. Now you playing with a dude that can flat out get it done. That can boogie. That can flat out yeah. get it boogie, done. Boogie. So, mm-hmm. so, so, so he wasn't used to that. You know, he he one of them coaches where he, he wants you to he wants you to see his X and O's. Mm-hmm. He don't want to do to break something down. Old time, old, show, old, old, old school. Old, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he he he, he apologized about it later on in life. He should have let Steve be Steve. Mm-hmm. So Steve got that yeah, Steve went to Orlando. Yeah. Right? I never came to Vet Camp. Never came to Vet Camp, right? <laughs> let me tell you this, let me tell you, let me tell you something even funnier than that. Now I go to this. I'm in, the, I'm in the MBDL. I'm playing with Huntsville, Alabama. I'm talking about going to work. Who I'm they affiliated with? They, they affiliated with Houston or who they? No, were? that time it wasn't no affiliation. It was just, it was just. Was Lonnie Harrell down there? Wild Wild West. No, Lonnie won on that team. It was over Martin. Yeah, man, listen. We went to the championship. We was going to the championship, man. I had, a matter of fact, uh, what's my man? What's my man? Uh, Kermit Watson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kermit Watson. Mm-hmm. He used to train me on my legs. And Kermit was one of the coaches. He said, Jason, I'm tired of this shit. Every time you play us, you're giving us 28 and 10. And, you know, so I'm, I'm playing well. So I'm upset now, you know, because I'm like, damn, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm not doing mm-hmm. no attitude problem. Mm-hmm. So Nate was like, man, look, hang in there, hang in there. Jay, you okay? You good. So Steve don't land though, right? So I can't remember the name of the fucking God, but that same God that they brought in at Houston, 
Man, I'm lonely. Who? You no know, short little black dude, man. Little light nice skin dude, man. Black light nice skin dude. So now I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in, uh, I'm in Huffman, Alabama. We play against this Florida team. I forget the name of the Florida team, but the, that point guard, he was nice though. He went and played with the Lakers and was cooking. Played with Kobe for a minute, short period of time. He started. What's my Smush man Parker? name? Nah, no, no, not Smush Parker. You want from UCLA? Damn, I forget his name. But he was Kobe. he was licking you. He couldn't shoot. Yeah, yeah, brown. No, he was brown. He's talking about um. He was light skin. What was he? Played UCLA. Earl Earl Washington? No, no, not Earl Washington. What you talking about? No, you. You talking about Allen Iverson up? You talking about him? No, not Tyron Lue. Who is you talking about the boy? I think he went to hit Cali nigga. Um, he played for Lakers for a minute. Yeah, he was good. He was good. Yeah, um, I can't think. I forget the name. No, 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 no. Did he go to UCLA? I think he went to UCLA. The motherfucker, light skin. I know exactly. He stuck with Lakers for a minute. Yeah, this dude, this dude played. He actually stopped him. He couldn't shoot that well. Yeah. Know what I'm but he was, he could finish the pass. He was, he was light skin. He was a god. He was a yeah. big god. How that feel? No, no, he was he was he was tough. Oh, he my my dude. George, nah, I'm talking about a god though. He's about a god. He was a god. He was a god, man. Can't think of, oh, I can't think of his fucking name, George. He played with Kobe. Yeah, they played with Kobe. He started. Point up. I'm started with Kobe. Yeah, got I'm called up. Listen, he got called up. I, I played against this man. I don't care about this shit. Hey, so not we said we finished story, bro. I don't remember the story. Damn it. Listen, so I'm, I'm going, and we played against each other, right? So my coach come to me and say, Jason, I don't really tell my players this, but Orlando is coming to see you. You talking about Farmer? No, 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 I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Light skin or dark skin? He was brown skin. He wasn't really light skin. He was brown skin. And what a smush. Nope. But but hold I up, hold up, hold up. Right or left hand? Right handed. Nah, this ain't the same dude I'm talking about. Nah, he was. It was a small stand. If I if I show if I if I. Nick Van Exel. Nah, I want. I want no Van. I want no Van Exel. But did he win the IBL one year? No, he he can't weigh it. He 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 was young. Way younger than us. I think he was. I think he was, yeah, he was way younger than that. He might be trying to nigga one the LSU, I think, though. Yeah, he was good, though. I, I ain't gonna lie. I fucking name, Charlie, he, he was really, really good. He can jump. Out Somebody there. said Shannon yeah. Brown. He was catching off no, the ground. He came out Michigan uh, State. Shannon was Brown was Michigan State. State. Was Michigan State. State. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm reading, um, I'm reading. Yeah. yeah. He was, but he was, he was what's name. They came to the game. I never forget, man. I had 19 points. 11 played, we went to double overtime. 19 points, 11 assists, one turnover. So, now Orlando was here. Now Steve mm -hmm. at Orlando. Right. And Steve right. called me. Said Jay, we come, you know they coming. Blah blah blah. I said okay, woo. All right, I'm ready. Man, so I get on. I get a call from Steve. And they said, man, what the fuck wrong with your coat? I said, huh? He said, what the fuck wrong with your coat? I said, what you mean? What's wrong with my coat? He said, man, he said something about you. Da 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 da. da. I said, what you mean? He said something about me. They didn't call me up. Another ten day I missed. Because now we talked about coaches. Mm -hmm. Now you talking about the CBA, the IBO. Everybody's mm -hmm. trying to get to the NBA. <laughs> right. Okay, Even coaches. We it's playoff time, so <laughs> I'm just starting this. Yeah. So I'm gonna start in point guard, right? So if I get called up, guess what? He got he got less chance of making it. You know, we win the championship. Mm -hmm. it, so I'm like, that had to be the only reason. I never did nothing to this man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we we was cool. You know, we was winning like a motherfucker down there. You know what I mean? So. Again, now I fall in this category. I didn't get caught up because I don't know what the fuck you, you told. Did you say something to the coach? Yeah, I said, I said, I said, why would you? What, what was the issue with you know? No, this is what I'm gonna tell you what he told me. He said, Jason, I don't want you to go up there for a ten day. I want you to go there and stick. I said, time out, man. You gonna stop me from going to get thirty, forty, fifty thousand right. for ten days? <laughs> Cause you worried about me sticking? Mm -hmm. No, that was that was that was a selfish reason that you did that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that was a selfish reason. I never forget. I sat out a game. I didn't even play. Told my my hamstring was hurt because because of that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's the type of stuff you go through, bone. You've been through mm -hmm. when you're trying to get in there mm -hmm. and little shit like that happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And but I, after that, man, I think that was I had surgery that I think that finally on my lower back at yeah, four and five, and that was it for me. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was it for me. Having them two, them to Utah, the, you know, the Charlotte, always, mm -hmm. all that stuff was discouraging. But at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not mad at, I'm not mad at nothing, man. Because like I said, I always kind of left a 
on the court, and God had another plan for me, man. So I teach the little kids, nine years straight, the scary fundamental basketball camp. I teach the kids, you know, six to 17. Oh, we, 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 we gonna definitely get back on that. Yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying, we want people to recognize that. But looking at this game today, man, how, how you think you be in this game today? This shit is, is this shit is like a, a God's game right now. You it's just, a God's it's, game. It's like, Yes, it's, it, I mean easy. It's easy, and I, and I, and see that's what I'm saying. Some 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 of it is like we said, everything is timing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know you you could have came out now and, and flew right in there. Mm -hmm. John, you know Sunstein? what I'm saying? Who? John Sunstein. John Sutton. No, uh, no, don't want his name. Nah. Villanova. But you know what I'm saying? The guys, the guys. But I love me. I love Kyrie. I love. I love yeah. the West Brooks. You know what I'm saying? I it's a God-only league right now. You, you got to think, like, this is what I was trying to explain one time on the show to hit to fucking Bill Cop wrong right now, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he didn't understand. He didn't understand when I was talking about per point guards. Back in the day, it was a particular time where point guards were getting paid just to bring the ball up court and pass it. Yeah, 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 get the fuck out of the way. Got to stay in the 10 years. That, 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 that's what I was trying to explain. On the show one time, I wasn't saying. What I was asking, but no, 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 I no, no, asked no, no, the no, question. Let me, let me finish. Right, let me finish. What I'm saying was back then, mm -hmm. all you had to do That's was it. get that bitch cross half court yes. and get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, and I wish I played like that sometimes. And, and then nowadays, you got motherfuckers, man. You, you got you got the Westbrook, the John Wall, the Currys, the Kyrie's. Yeah. They get a chance. To fucking showcase this shit. It's, it's, it, yeah. so Back then, you couldn't because you had a motherfucker take that ball to. Yeah, you got the Kobe's on long way. Yeah, you got Jordan over here. No, but then, then, then you, then you, got, then you motherfucker, you got like Pat Ewing. Yeah, yeah, you got Pat Ewing. Yeah, you got them. It's a totally different game. It's a God's game. That's what I'm saying. It's a God's game. And Amity Tucker. Shout out, shout out to Amity because he didn't have anybody to get the ball too. But the ball. Shout out to Amity Tucker. He came this motherfucker and said, "Right now, today." Yeah. The game ain't nothing but just just just, just, just pee on the road. Yeah, it's like search but see Boom. and that's just shit. But this yeah. is what I'm about to tell you though. The game was a lot slower back then too. Yeah. You must walk I, I totally agree. Because you, you had to. You know what I'm saying? Jordan said, hold on, wait for me. Because you had to. You had to. You yeah. had no choice. You had to. You know what I'm saying? And that and I think I think that's kind of what hurt me. Because I couldn't I couldn't Dangerous style of play. And when my style yeah, of play. Like, trying but, to go. But but I but if I if I can go back, I will play that way. Like, I think about that. I think that's what hurt me, too, at times, that I wanted to score and I wanted to do these things. But if you ain't on and a God, you come, you done. You can't do that because you got a nigga they paying 100 million to. He got to touch the ball. It's that, he he has right. to touch the ball. You understand what I'm saying? But I was talented enough to come out and do what he said, mm -hmm. say, and I play hot D. You know what I'm saying? If I was able to do that, I, would, I, I probably would have wouldn't been through what I was trying to go through. I, I, I was man, trying to play, you know, because back then that's when it started to change. But they, I they totally agree with what you're saying, yeah. Sam. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? With the, with the no touch rule and all that shit. Nah, yeah, yeah. Like, right, can nobody stay in front of you? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they, right now, they, this shit is like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the game, but. It's candy. Shit, now, yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's, it's easy. Like, and it's so nah, spaced it's candy, out. Man. It's candy. It's so spaced out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's. The NBA, that's why, space, you yeah, more, mm, that's why you yeah. see the Currys and these guys getting into the league and they're better pros than they were in college. Mm -hmm. You know how mm -hmm. hot is cool in college basketball, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, look, let's get let's get back to the to the lion ass Rick joint with that Trey Young bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. to, to get to the point, you can't touch these. It, it was very rare for a fucking point guard to even average nine ten assists in college. Yeah. Back in the day, nine to ten assists in college. That's back in the heard, day, that's unheard of. That's and, fucking crazy. And damn it, thirty points. Chris Cole, man. You, 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 you get what I'm saying? That's tough. Back then, you might get six or seven yeah. assists, yeah. but nine and ten, you wasn't getting that shit back in the day. Nah. Yeah. You know, nah. The, first of all, because the game, the, the, game, the, the game was very physical. One and the pace. It, it uh, was some strong, yeah, the, and the rules are so yeah, different. It's trapping like a motherfucker. Hold on, the clock was different, and you could load, all that you shit could load the paint, you could zone, you know what I mean? You know, the yeah, league falls into the purpose, you can't really load the mm -hmm. paint. So you got space, yo. You know what I mean? That's 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 the big difference, y'all. Yeah, but you you know you know what a lot of it, a lot of it too, a lot of it is, um, you know, like these guys, man, like in the NBA, when you get to the NBA level, everybody can shoot. Mm -hmm. For the most mm -hmm. part, yeah. that's why the game is so spaced out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to me, that's why the game's so fucked up. Now. Exactly, and that's why that's why that's why even like you know you look at the Trey Youngs and you know what helps him? 
because he's not athletic, not physically uh, uh, strong, mm. but because he shoots so well, yeah. he can be affected. He can be even more effective in the NBA than he can in college mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I agree. It, it, you know what I mean? It, it ain't nothing but another curry. Floor spread. It's full spread. Yeah. He pulling from wherever. You know what I'm saying? He can handle the right. He gonna just strip him. You know, he gonna make the pass. He gonna make the right passes. And it, and it, and, it, and it's like it's big ass holes in the NBA. And they gonna call a foul when you touch him. No, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you you know, the game is totally different than it is. Uh, than it was back then. I mean, we playing hot D. Sometimes, motherfucker, we, I mean, we playing down, playing down all these little gyms, man, and you got the out-of-bounds line and the wall. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, the coach, the, the shit, you, you right here. Man. Get your right shit off. Get, so it ain't really 9450. Yeah. Man, man, yeah. nah, you, nah, you getting inside that motherfucking thing and we, and we gonna go at it. I'm yeah. talking about we going at it. I mean, the we, phone booth, basically. The yeah, phone booth. We coming up, man. I never forget, man, some of the best record we ever had was when we was at the corner. Yes. Yeah. Good, good bunch, man. Yeah. What? Bunch. Bunch. Listen to me. Mm-hmm. It was, I mean, for real. We had, it was so It was so good. Good right? bunch. We had the news come out of it. Mm-hmm. To, 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 it was me, Kirk, Greg, uh, 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 the Keith boys were just coming out of, uh, uh, uh Keith Bowling, them coming out. Mm-hmm. They come out. Then we had Steve, Byrne, David, Elton Brand, mm-hmm. Van Der Poel, all of them in there. Oh, we, basically all God play. All God play. Getting it. I'm talking mm-hmm. about getting it mm-hmm. in. 2-2. Two, yeah. two, uh, uh. Uh, we, I mean, we in there working, man. Black the bell in there getting out there when he can. McClinton. McClinton. Cooking. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it, we was just, we just loved it. You know what I'm saying? We just loved, we just loved that basketball, man. That mm-hmm. that shit was like, that's all we wanted to do. Mm-hmm. It's, it's mm-hmm. to play and to compete. Like, we all knew each other. You know what I'm saying? We all knew each other. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like I said, I can do Greg and then when I was 10. You know what I'm saying? Pep father, Earl Tyson, mm-hmm. his father bought my first pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? That's when he, when Pet Father came home, man. He came to my. He was doing construction for uh, Mason. Mm-hmm. Man, I was so psyched, man. He came. Pep called said, "Man, my father, we gonna get the tickets to the game. Game tickets to the game and everything." Shout out to Linger Heights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vision you know what Avenue. Saying? What's up, Pep? <laughs> yeah, my Avenue. My motherfucking man. Vision Avenue. Had that right motherfucker with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already mean, know. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. We'll snatch you out your mm-hmm. whole body. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He can flat out. He can flat out do it. You know. That's my thinking. Greg, Greg, like Greg. You know. Going on with Greg, Greg was one, one of the toughest players I ever played against in my life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nephew. So crafty, can 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 just shoot, can pass. He ain't gonna play no fucking D. But <laughs> you know, that's just his yeah, style of play. You, you know one thing I call that's one I call him nephew. One thing about nephew, man, I swear, I swear to God. If that motherfucker was six five, six six, it'd be done. It's man. over. Lights yeah. out, man. Lights no. out. Yeah, Andrew Tony. No, lights no out. bullshit. Because a lot of uh, what, what I don't you know about know, Greg, though, for real. Greg was a sneaky, athletic motherfucker. <laughs> Listen to me, yeah. man. We played. Let me tell you something. I go. They said we played one on one down dumb Bob, right? No, we was down losing the road. This nigga played. We played one on one. He was a Western come back, come on. We playing one on one, right? And I'm, I'm. I'm like, hey, I'm, cause I'm fast. You know, Greg, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting little buckets here. I'm about to, my man put some money on, on the game, me and him. Man, score tied up, Greg got that motherfucker. Said, come on, Jay, lock up. Came out that motherfucker. Bah, 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 bah. I don't know what he did. Had me slide. Mm-hmm. Lay up. <coughs> no, then he threw the joint. He threw the joint. He was throwing it off the, the ground, the backboard. This was off of one summer. Greg was Greg couldn't do none of that shit. Mm-hmm. He come home, he catching that motherfucker like this. Boom. Yeah, this motherfucker sneaky athletic. I mean sneaky athletic. On a break, he gonna, no, he gonna boost that boy, jump. No boost. Yeah, he was dangerous, man. He was dancing. Yeah. He played Greg down. He come in the little league. Our Whitman, we playing our Whitman. He come to the game in the second half, man, and then they had 35. Easy. Mm-hmm. Come in, just he didn't even warm up, just took his shirt, mm-hmm. shit off, got in the game, man, and just I mean, he was he was definitely a special talent, man. Coming mm-hmm. up, man, to somebody mm-hmm. that I really, I really looked up to. You know what I'm saying? Along with yourself, you know, with yourself, I always tell you that, you know. But those are the type you you, you the guys that I kind of like. When I when I was coming up, I watched and wanted to be like and wanted to you know pat my game after after you know what I'm saying I just watched Pep cross and he's. The, He's, the, he's called the guitar. He's the hell of that joint. Mm-hmm. like this. And he bring the cross straight from there. I'm like, God damn, Pep, how you do that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How you do that? Yeah. I'm talking about head, head, bring that mother, his whole body. That shit like a, I mean, it was incredible. Put you, put you all in the mix. Man, you put you, you in the yeah. mix, man. And like, then, then he might, 
and, and keep that motherfucker yeah, going to stay out. Yeah, yeah. you know what oh, I'm saying? Man. Yeah. You know that time we played out Kenny and him and Steve was going at it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, threw yeah, that yeah. joke and wrapped it yeah. around Steve's back and caught them on Steve's turn around. He, he got that motherfucker on the stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Crazy. yeah. Mm-hmm. Then they went back down the second time. He tried to throw through Steve's leg. Steve caught that motherfucker, man. Took off. He took off. I don't know. He might have took off from the concession stand. From the half point. Boom! Steve was a special talent, though, man. Oh, unbelievable. That motherfucker was dumb with that shit, bro. Uh, 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 no, no bullshit. He, he was, he why, was that's why, stupid with that you shit. You were talking about a little comparison. You said Steve or Byron Davis. Man, Steve. I'm going with Steve. I, I, Steve. Burn, 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 burn. Burn. Well, I, I, I will Brand say this. Burn Davis. I'm going to go with Steve. And, 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 and you listen, saying your answer before you even... No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Steve or Byron Davis? I'm t- I just said fucking Steve. And okay. Can I explain why I'm saying that? Okay, go ahead. Bring you know what I'm saying? Now, if, if you want to go with a, a length of time, career-wise, you have to go with Byron. But from what I've seen, in my eyes personally... Talent wise, I got I just gotta go with Steve because this motherfucker Steve was actually being compared to Allen Iverson at one time. I don't think y'all know that shit. This motherfucker came to league on, on the Western Conference, started in the fucking All Star game. Yeah, that was some hell of a shit to fucking do <laughs> at that fucking time. You in the backcourt with fucking Kobe Bryant yeah, on that West on that West side. Two years in a row. Yeah, he two years. On, Steve was winning work. Not saying Bryant wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Steve was putting in some motherfucking major fucking work. The only thing that I would say that Byron did that Steve didn't do was probably <laughs> w- w- was probably got better Man, at certain points of the game. You know what I'm saying? That's the only th- that that that's the only thing that Byron probably didn't do that Steve that, that Byron did that Steve didn't do. He got better at shit. Are they the same player? That he could. That, that's my point in I'm saying. Asking you, are no, they the are. That's my, no, that's my point. You're the same player, right? They're the same player. Exactly meaning, the no, same no, 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 no. Exactly. Meaning, exactly the no. Same what I'm saying, no, but Byron had two bad motherfuckers. Byron got better. Two, two Byron bad got better at other shit that he couldn't do. Byron got better at shooting the basketball. He shot them motherfucking. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they came, both of them came to the league as just raw talent. You know what I'm saying? Like athleticism all off the chart. Stupid shit. I'm just saying, Byron got better at just working on shit he couldn't do, just better shooting, running the team, and all that. Steve, Steve stayed. With the handles, Steve both, stayed. But Steve with stayed the handles, consistent. With the handles tip, they both. I'm a, Steve, Steve, Steve stayed consistent. Steve stayed consistent at what he was good at. The handles. I'm gonna tell you what Byron was very good at. Byron was a passing motherfucking machine. Yeah, Byron was very good at that. Let me tell you something. I agree. Totally agree. Steve could pass. Don't get me wrong. But Byrne had, I seen Byrne throw a motherfucking bounce pass. Man, listen to me. I played with him in shot. I did what you said. I seen him throw a bounce pass, man, from damn near. I mean, through the every through everybody. To a, you know what I'm saying? You sound like a coach, dog. Man, I, I, I <laughs> No, Byrne, I seen him pat Burn with Burn to be that he get your and he had before Byrne, be, you gotta listen to him. Before Byrne had that surgery on his knee, he had the ACL. No, no, what, what surgery? He had like ten surgeries. Yeah, two of them. Okay, but but two the, ACLs. He had too many. Yeah, yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. two yeah. But the one, <laughs> he had one right before he went in draft. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 still yeah. went yeah. one. Number three, yeah. still yeah. draft. Yeah. 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 He was so strong. Listen, Steve like, went two. Steve, listen, they had a guy because you know uh, uh, Nate was trying to get BD right. They had a mm-hmm. DVD. I'm gonna, I'm they had a DVDs now of Byrne Davis. Take I swear on everything I love. This man number one. He my he maybe he this much older. I wouldn't be shallow with him, man. Burn was six one. No, he taller than me. He was six, six two, two, six, six, two, three. Two, three. Yeah, right yeah. there. The foul line, homes. The foul line. I got it on tape. With Steve was like, man, look at this shit. And I think it was in high school. Foul line like this. With the one hand. What's the one? Let's see. You seen him? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Of the one leg. Yeah, that man. That, 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 that's, that, that, that's what he do. The Levine type shit. Man, taking off from the from yeah, the foul line, man. Levine, Burn Davis right. was dunking on niggas, though. On people, yeah. man. Like he was dating, he was sick. He had spurts, but see, Burn, Burn was playing. You know, the, Burn was remind me of somebody like 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 like, like the Randy Livingston. You know, man, Randy motherfucker, oh, Superman. Man. So he fucked his leg up. That's, Me, that's what I'm saying. And he was a yeah. cook. We went to the book, Nationals with Kingdom, right? Book, went to the Nationals with Kingdom. We played against Randy Livingston. My dad forget. Louisiana. Louisiana. There you go. He said, He let you connect. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, ben Simmons on him in the Yeah. Game. Listen to me, man. We playing against them. If she pep them, they, they, you know, Greg, no, they go every year. So, why they know him. My first time. 
So we playing them. And he was like, man, I'm tired of looking at that. I guess they always beat us. And this man come out of the game, man. I swear, man. I, I, I couldn't believe this dude was just 12, 12 years old, man. I couldn't believe he was this young playing the way he played. Mm -hmm. It was, You know, he got cold. When Jason Kidd got MVP of, of I mean, not MVP, of um, player of the year and high, coming out of college, yeah. I mean, high school, he was co-MVP with Randy Livingston. Yeah. Livingston, bro. God, look at that. Livingston, a bad bro, motherfucker. Bro, Mo, you remember Randy, Randy Livingston? Man, I remember him. Man, he got hurt. He fucked. He got that one. Well, I said that. His knees. His knees. He played this year before he was out. He came in the league still. Yeah, he still because they liked it. They liked it. He's very respectful. He was a player coach in the CBA. Yeah, that motherfucker was nice, man. He was like a big, he was like a play. He was exceptional. You know what I'm saying? Like, people got different times when they bloom. He was the, he was the, the stack houses and all them type of dudes coming out of high school. What was his name? Louisiana Supreme. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, Randy Livingston yeah, was him, Ronnie Henderson. Yeah, I, I, he was, yeah, he, he, he was definitely the truth. He went to UCLA. Wayne Spencer. Yeah, Wayne Spencer was nice. Went to George Sam mm -hmm. for a minute, mm -hmm. then we went back to LSU. And Who would you play your game yeah. to? Yeah. If, yeah. if you had to just pick a dude, you said, "Damn, that's job like me." Like man, I, I, like right now in the league, you say, "Yeah, that's that's me." Damn, I, you know, me. Uh, that's tough. You know, you know, player that I that I really that I if I can pay myself to, um, but I, you know he finished a, a lot better than I ever finished. But I Kyrie Irving, I like Kyrie Irving got moves. Yeah, Kyrie Irving got he Herky spins, Herky Herky Herky. That's how I played. I got I, I Irky Jerk. He got all that. You know, somebody like that. Joystick type shit. Jo yeah, joystick, man. I got a, I got a joint on my phone, man. I'll make all y'all to jump off this seat if I show you what he did to, um, to Stephen Curry. It was, when I say beautiful. But, but that's the shit that, <laughs> back, back, that's the shit that, <laughs> that, 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 that Steph did to fucking, uh, like when Chris you, Paul too, though. Like that was you, crazy. Like when you was coming up to the, to me, that that's why I always compared you to the Steve shit. Y'all yeah, come with that. High dribble, yeah. hands up, if, hands if, up. If, if, if you backing up on your heels, you fuck the rim. Go all yeah. the way, and then they might yourself. boom and all, and but finish at the rim. Yeah, when you get a motherfucker and finish at the rim, they might dunk that bitch. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a cold advantage. Cold advantage, yeah. yeah. especially when you yeah, as a guard. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's a cold. That's a cold advantage. You finish at the rim at that at that position. A absolutely. I mean, I think I think Kyrie, Kyrie. If I could say anybody, somebody that um. You know, I mean, of course, he's a lot talented and better than I ever was. You know, but he still, I can still see, I see the comparison. Now, maybe that's why I like him so much. And guess what? Yeah. It's funny. It could, opportunity wise. Yeah. Now, if you roll that motherfucking basketball out and you say, "Do the fuck you want to do," of course. This motherfucker would have been out that motherfucker yeah. bop bopping, and I, I and, I, and that's what I. Steve wants you the right team. That, that, listen, dude, listen. He said because you know Steve led the league in turnovers two, two, yeah. two years. He he, he wants the right team. But, but it's a difference when you're able to do those things yeah. than to think I that, oh, you. if I make a mistake, they're going to pull me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about coming out of the game. Look at the mother who come, nah, nah. come up. Nah. When you got at, at that position, I ain't talking about them big dumb ass sinners, my brother. <laughs> I'm talking about at that mother position. <laughs> when you can just get them up and nah. be like, you can do the fuck you want to <laughs> do. Nah. Room and room. You, ain't, you ain't got to worry about shit. Nah. But, that, and, but, that's how you, them, man. but that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I, I respect what the team for doing that, that shit. But they didn't let Bird do that. But he let go of Boogie, though, right? right? No, because it was Nah, he had Byron Scott, man. No, they had, they had, they had, um, you know, because, um, he was New Orleans first. He was, who? He came straight. He came straight. Leave Charlotte. Yeah, I was me and shit. We, yeah. First day of practice. Yeah, he came, he came straight. Paul Silas. My wife took me. He came straight. Leave to Charlotte. Byron Davis yeah. was there with me. I mean, my he first year. Well, he was. So he was. He. He got drafted, and then I, I and I was. Oh, shit. I was his third pick. He was there at lottery pick. He was there lottery pick. Yeah, I came with Charlotte. Yeah, we was there the same year. He was calling me Dusty. We used to go on the golf course. That's my man. But but Byron. They had um what's the fucking the point guard they had the little um uh little strong ball head big head uh, point guard to play with Charlotte back then man David West David West yeah, they Wesley West. they Wesley he was he was starting yeah. um before Burn Burn he ain't Burn ain't start yeah David started. Yeah. David Wesley started. Yeah. And Burn got some time and then Paul Silas didn't really. He didn't, that was Bobby Fields boy he ain't like Bobby Fields Field, Bobby Field, I got some shoes but Bobby that Fields Bobby died Field. but I was. Bobby Fields died when I was there. Yeah, he passed away. He passed away. Damn, the cop. Yo. Dave West was. Him and David West was. Him and David West was. Yes, they was. They was. They was. And the Cosmic. And the Cosmic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was there then. Did you have a game that day? Uh, uh, do you know what? We might have had a game that day. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I think. 
Yeah, he you gave me some shoes. You know what I'm saying? What's so crazy? And this is just some really bizarre shit, right? So Daryl Armstrong was my teammate, right? Yeah. In Spain. He was with Orlando. Mm -hmm. And he said they was on the bus going to the shoot around. Uh -huh. And it was a fucking accident. It was in traffic like shit coming to the game. I mean, coming to the arena. He, he rolled past the and shit. And he rolled past the shit when Bobby Fields yeah. died, you Not knowing it was him. Wow. The shit when y'all y'all was playing Orlando that day. They was coming for the fucking shooter right Yeah, now. I think they yeah. After y'all yeah. practiced. Yeah. That was that was that was no a No bullshit. Dur Armstrong hit me with that shit. I was like, damn, Joe. That was a really good dude. Is that man. some crazy when shit? When I say a really good dude. You know, he he's one of the dudes, a CBA type dude that had to work for everything he, he got. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was a good dude. He, was, matter of fact, it was Anthony Mason, Bobby Fields. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 Bobby Fields was right, right, right in front of me. You know what I'm saying? He gave me some dress shoes. I never forget. He gave me some dress shoes. Was same side, but he was uh when I when that had when that happened, man. That shit was that shit was tough. That shit was tough for the team, man. Mm -hmm. And David West was, was driving. They was speeding in the sports car. I don't know mm -hmm. what it was. Something I can't even remember. But, yeah, he, they both was in Porsches. Yeah, or racing or something. Yeah, but um, the light change. He, yeah, that was that. That was that was. He tried to that was sad. And, and, uh, yeah, that was sad. The intersection got hit. Yeah, all that was on the team. Him, uh, Eddie Jones, Anthony yeah. Mason, Byron Davis. What's my man used to play with the Lakers? The big, the big, uh, the big set. No, not D. Vock. The uh, do uh, Elton Campbell. Elton Campbell. That was Elton a bad one. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Elton was bad. Yeah, score him up. Yeah, score. All them was on the team. Tim Davis played together with Dale Davis. Yeah, Clemson and Gavin Joe. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Nah, that, nah, that, that, that was real tough. Yeah. We, 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 we can't leave the show without talking about the club, man. You know what I'm saying? You doing some yeah. great things of that society, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what, what, what made you want to get into that to, to that business? I mean, you know. Uh, you know, growing up, man, we, it's cold pop. You know, when I, you know, because I, I was born, in, I'm, I'm from Guyana. I was born in Guyana, East West Indies. So I, we kind of introduced, like, the curry and the roti and, you know. Oh, the food, bro. Yeah, yeah no bull. So, we, you know, when I was a kid, we always, you know, had functions in the neighborhood. And we would feed everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I was like, man, you know, I love food. I, as a young age, it, you know, coming from the Caribbean, Caribbean men can really cook. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We grow up learning how to cook. Mm. So um, I said, man, I want to. I'm gonna open a restaurant. I had one of little island flavors. That, that's a joint. That, that, yeah. When you first started, yeah. I tried that motherfucker yeah. every day. Get that yeah. motherfucker, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, chick, yeah. all that shit. So then I said, you know what? I'm gonna open up something different. And force me being forced to be able to experience different parts of the world, or the mm. country. I, I never really went overseas, but the country and seeing nice things. I just had a vision, man. And I said, I want to do something in Silver Spring, mm. not too far from where I grew up in Tacoma Park. And uh, you know, people thought I was crazy because it wasn't a city where it's traffic and all that. I mean, mm -hmm. it was, but I just, I just felt it, man. I just felt it, man. I just realized that, you know, like I said, I, second place is not an option. I wanted to do something mm -hmm. for the people, and I just, you know, and I did it, you know, and put the rooftop on there and just try to be consistent. You just change it to a whole nother level. Change so it to a whole nother level. When your shit first started, <laughs> yeah, and then you like switched it up with the rooftop shit was. The womb changed. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah crazy, crazy, yo. Nah, yeah. the rooftop shit is crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, man. But, uh, I mean, that, you know, that's that, that's kind of <laughs> in a nutshell, you know what I'm saying? Just, just kind of filling the void of the people in the neighborhood or the area and come to find out people come from everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. Baltimore, PG, DC, Virginia. They even come from way out Frederick. Uh, way out, you know, yeah. out Maryland somewhere, they coming up, you know what I'm saying, they coming and enjoying themselves because, you know, at, at, in my mind, I'm always trying to figure out how can I make this, this place special for people mm -hmm. to enjoy, you know what I'm saying? And, and oh, you do a great, great yeah, job. Yeah, you, know you do a great job there to, to, to deal with the crowd and everybody know about this spot. If you don't know, man, Society Lounge, man, George Avenue, Jason Mascari spot, man, food good. I mean, Drinks, good, good entertainment, everything, Slim. So, and I enjoyed love. You show us when we come there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, like I just called me, boy. Yeah, it, I, you know, I got you. Yeah, that, 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 that's you tough, man. Yeah, I, it, that, it's that, that's tough, man. That's tough. Like I said, the food is, is incredible. Yeah. Bomb. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, everybody, like I said, man, you know, everybody got their niche in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? When you when when you just dealing with like, you take sports in general, that shit can take you a long way. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it took you to man. Look, I'm gonna get this restaurant out of this shit, man. Because it all it all built built up from 
you just becoming popular back in the day exactly. with, with your craft. Exactly. Knowing that people support you. Exactly. Man, and that's what's not that's the best part. But see, that's what we said. Yeah. I ain't being a country bone, but that's what we talked about. Mm -hmm. and especially you and I playing that position. It, exactly. We gotta make everybody happy. We gotta that, control that the point game. God that position. point guard position is a you whole You gotta make thing. sure that everybody everybody and we you know what I'm saying, and we good. And no, I took no, that mentality, you know no, what I'm saying? No bullshit. Being the little guy on the court, mm -hmm. just having mm -hmm. a fight and mm -hmm. scrap. Mm -hmm. You learn, and you can apply that to anything in life. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what I did. I said, you know what? If I go with the same type of energy, mm -hmm. the same type of determination, I can make anything happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I just had to, you know, uh, uh, f figure out a way to get to get there. But once mm -hmm. I get there, it's you gonna make it happen. It's go, I'm gonna make it happen you because I understand happen. people. I understand how to make people happy. I understand mm -hmm. how to, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm sitting in there, man. And this is off the basketball subject, but I'm sitting in there. I might be sitting in there. I might look at a guest and I can see an expression on their face and know that something is wrong. Mm -hmm. So I'm immediately over there, and, you know. Mm -hmm. We have an issue, and those are the things from playing basketball, recognizing. Man, my center say, I ain't touched the ball in a minute. Jay, what you going to do? I need to get it. You got to make sure he's right. down the court. Yeah. I got to make sure he's happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you do that, great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I see you in that motherfucker. It ain't look like you, you do like using that chill. Yeah. Like you, you, you ain't with us. Yeah. But and then, boom, you, you, you come on the scene, thing happen, boom, boom, everything good. Yeah, you got to look back what night. Yeah, yeah, I was like, man, what the fuck is going on? But you, you <laughs> can't. Can't do the rescue. Did I? Can't do the rescue. Make, make sure they're good. Try, that's how make it Boom. happen. You know what I'm saying? You know, but, 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 somebody but, take the ball. But, 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 <laughs> but, that, but that's, some, that's some great shit, man. And you're doing a great job with that. You know what I'm saying? And, and to piggyback and go with the kids you say you're working with, Yeah. just, just, yeah. Give, just give us a little info on that so we can let the people know so, what you're doing. And, you know what I'm saying? So, you know... You know, uh, you know. Fortunately, I had to go away for a little bit of time, so I'm back now. Last year, I wasn't able to hold my my my, uh, my camp, but now I'm back. And normally, what I do, I give scholarships. Cause I don't I don't make no money off, even though I charge 125 dollars, whatever, before and after kid. That ain't no money. By the time I pay the gym and feed right, the right, kids right, and all right. that. Yeah. But what I want to do, um, um, we're trying to get. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna. You know, hold it this year if I'm coming to the city or 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 not. Talk to little Abdul, you know, honey, bro. Mm -hmm. Got a spot for me. Shout out to Honey, my yeah, man. We, we, we hung out the other day, my main yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good, out good. the way, Sean. Yeah, they father coached me when I was that mustache back. boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop, you know, man. I was my coach, man, back in the him and LeBerry. But mm -hmm. uh, their father was, you know, I want to be able to get scholarship to the kids, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, and, 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 and teach them that you don't have to take the route. See, that's what happened. A lot of these guys, man, they're on the bubble, you know, you in college, this shit that's going on now, you know, yeah. I'm struggling, the university making millions, all they trying to give my, my, my family a few dollars. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, in the whole scheme of things, it's not right, but when you think about it, Man, it's what, right. It's right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What, the fuck is, what you mean? Paid. You know they deserve to get something. If you ain't gonna give them, if you ain't gonna yeah. give it to them when they plan for you and bring you all this money, yeah. then they damn sure gonna get it before I'm they get there. Bring that up, man, because I was looking at Jalen Rose show, right? Uh huh. And you know he he, he speaks his mind on, yeah. on that topic. But what I'm saying is, you got an NBA Players Union, right? Uh huh. Why not have one for the student athletes in NCAA? They, they, well, they they can. Make a case for what's going on right now. Yeah, but and stand you know, up for they, that. They but, that's, but that's why you keep them as amateurs so they can't unionize. Exactly. <clears throat> and you got to be able to unionize one way or the other. You got fraternities in college. But they're not. But, but you get what I'm saying. They, they play keep, football. But, but they keep them in amateur status so they can't have any of those rights. Well, well that's, 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 that's a powerful yeah. organization. Yeah. They're yeah. a very powerful organization. So, so what they about should get what, paid. So what about the NBA guys getting together? And, and, and doing something for the NCAA motherfucker. I think they, that's going to happen. Because the way it's going you know, right now. You can always say you're a love man from the school. You can't give him nothing. But guess what? If I'm Chris Paul, and I want to, I can't give yeah, nothing yeah. to Jason Scrape when he wait for us. Yeah. But I can get something to somebody when they go to another school. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that those guys need to take 
a, a, another approach to the situation yeah. because they've been That's through a it. Loophole, like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, they, they, nah, they've nah, been nah. through it. Yeah. They need some type of some, some yeah. way. Some way yeah. they got they got they got to they yeah. yeah, they got to figure it out. They're supposed, they're supposed not, to play as not, boycott the not, not not get paid as Mess far as like that money. make the money get caught. Nah, nah, I'm talking about that. Yeah, get some heat, man. Yeah, have some money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Just get no room. You know, I'm talking about But you don't get you don't get. You get meal, meal money yeah, and that, that shit ain't shit. Nothing, that man. ain't nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking saying. about. I'm talking about where they can be like not to worry about anything. Yeah. While they in college, because you making all this money for your schools, man. Man, you know it's money to get the TV. This TV. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, I played in tournament four. I know. I everything. Is, you getting money? They getting dumb. You know what they can you? A Sony. Uh, headphone set. Oh, fuck man. Oh, they, 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 watch. They, they, and they don't even pay for that. Right. That's a sponsor. NCAA giving you that. Oh, Sony giving you that. NCAA ain't yeah, paying that. Some, sp- NCAA ain't paying that. NCAA ain't got shit to Sony's do with pay- that. Sony's paying for that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's bro. Sony, man. Pay for what? You know what I'm saying? When they, when they do shit like that, that's Sony yeah. trying to get this yeah. had, just have people walk yeah. around with Sony yeah. headphones on. Yeah. This my this my man. He do uh oh, he do crab cakes every Friday. Right. And he was on this side of town. So okay. I said, uh, Oh, um, nice little crab. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I just made sure y'all got something to eat. It's a long yeah, show. Man. Get some nourishment in your body, man. But um, yeah, I, 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 I do all this motherfucking weed we didn't smoke tonight. <laughs> we got, we got to eat, baby. We got to eat. Hey, Jeff, where you up with them brownies, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nah, with no bullshit, man. Uh, um, Jay, you doing some good shit though, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Club off the chain. You know what I'm saying? And, and from day one, you know what I'm saying? We always been cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just your personality and everything, man. And um, telling Charlie Moore that I said, man, Jerry, good motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And and, and hot and everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we always, what, what's February? We close out the Black History Joint. Is there anybody you want to recognize on Black History Month to, to close the show out with? Um, that you just got in mind that you can just boom off the dome. You mean the positive? You mean you like it don't even matter. matter. It don't even matter. Oh man. Um, Snoop Dogg. Put him on the spot. Bob Marley. I'm looking at the walls. No, I, I, you know, somebody's just, just, just kind of like for the people, man. I, I guess, I guess, um. What's my man? What's my name? Uh, uh, Kavanick, man. I, I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I go ahead and give it, give, give him, give him that. I mean, there's a, it's a lot of positive figures out here, but mm-hmm. somebody that's like, man, fuck that. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell it how it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because no too much shit hit. Too much, too much shit hit. No matter how you slice it, man. This world, this world wasn't. Well, this, this country. I'm not gonna say this world. This country mm-hmm. was was not designed for us. You know what I'm saying? And in no shape was fashion unless we can, we can fly, jump. Dribble, yeah. mm-hmm. whatever the case, we can make we can make you a rap, whatever, make you money somehow, mm-hmm. and uh, and, and 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 they don't give us the credit that we deserve, man. You know, as as as, as black males, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it, it's difficult in this in this situation. You know, mm-hmm. you know when you make it, they want to know how you got there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, it's, and it's always it's always it's always it would always be a struggle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because. What happens when you don't hold those powerful jobs, when you don't hold the the, the, the top of the top jobs, you know, yeah, you might have a yeah. guy that's black that got a high job, but he still got that that yeah. Yeah. that lighter color that's above him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's very difficult for us to get across that obstacle, man. We just got to stay together and help each other, man, as, as best as we can, you know. You know, we don't we don't do enough enough of that. You know, we we, we need to learn that part of the yeah. of um you know, even in business or so anything, you know, help some help help the next man out. You know what I'm saying? And for him to him to stand up about, you know, what the flag actually should should mean, mm-hmm. it, it it's just real, you know what I mean? And and he he you can tell that he's passionate about it because of course he wants to play football, but if he don't, <laughs> it ain't no it ain't no I'm still gonna represent what I feel is right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, 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 will, I, will, I will give him that, and uh, and uh, just you know, just to everybody out there, man, just just keep pushing. And I, and yeah. I, what I want to talk, 
touched earlier, man. I know we we cut the show, but mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want kids to to fall and do the things in my and in, in, in what I did and to 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 kind of you know the wrongdoings that I did. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, so many times we talk about these CBAs and cows on the bubble, and they don't have no direction. When they come home, they feel like, man, what I gotta do? I gotta eat. I gotta figure it. I gotta figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta figure out. That, 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 that's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah. So we can preach that. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm, what I'm saying? That's yeah. what we're here for. That's, that, that's what we're here for to preach that, man. Appreciate you. Um, hey, there was, I want to one thing. Just, just to close off, like here's your mom, because I know I've been doing the water nuts project for two years, mm -hmm. and uh, we miss, man. I look back. I had to bring up talk to Earl Lloyd, who people don't realize was from the D.C. area, mm -hmm. you know, right outside in Alexandria. But he was the first black to play in the NBA, uh, and he was the first black to win an NBA championship. Wow. Okay. He's from D.C. Oh, and he died three years ago. Wow. But because um, NBA didn't have the issues integrating that baseball had and football had, mm -hmm. you don't hear about it. But he was the first man, and he was from his area, you know, so and, and I, I never brought him up. I'm, I'm yeah. probably going to go back and post him. But, yeah, um, yeah, you know, yeah. that's... That's much of I got to go mm -hmm. with, with, with my guy. I got my shirt on, man. Shout out to Hanif, man, my man. Honey, yeah. uh, but, I mean, my cousin, man, Mark Johnson, man. First black ever to get a, a belt in his weight class in boxing, man. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ever. Mm -hmm. and, and we talking about that weight class, man, 106, whatever. <clears throat> We get them Mexicans. We get yeah. no disrespect to them though. Yeah. Yeah. We get them guys, man. But we get we, we 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 get a black. Not only a black, we get a black from from Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. They go in there and run with them guys, man, and get a belt. First black ever. Ever. Yeah. That's you. <clears throat> Longest boxing been going on, man. Yeah. To get a fucking a major belt yeah. in that weight class. You know what I'm saying? So much respect to 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 Mark Johnson. Yeah. And my, that, 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 that's my little cuz, you know what I'm saying? Up but in many divisions, the same, and, 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 and yeah. he kept going with it. But man, Boxing them guys fame. gotta be recognized, man. You He's know what I'm saying? Fame, man. Hey, Rob, Rob, you can't get none of this crap cake. This motherfucker banging, Slim. <laughs> but I'm gonna call you though, man. I'm gonna let you know where to get it from, though, Rob. But all good, man. You know what I'm saying? Great show tonight, man. Much knowledge, mm -hmm. man. Appreciate my man Jay coming on, man. You know, yeah. from day one, it was all love, man. And uh, the, the crew, man. Yeah. Get this week, this week, do Slim so anytime, man. Yeah, I love Come it, on man. and holler us, man. Yeah, man. Anytime, man. You know what I'm saying? Going to some party, it, it, some it, anytime, yeah. man. And then with your camp, be more than welcome to come through and help you need. Just holler us, man. Yeah, and you got yeah, some yeah, kids, man. man. Just let me for know. For sure, for sure, man. For don't sure. worry about the money. Long as I got the room, they can uh -huh. come in and uh -huh. teach them. We all good. Yeah. And, and we will society tomorrow, right? Who up there tomorrow? Uh, Kimmy School. Kimmy School. Hey, shout out to school. <laughs> hey, Kim, I'm going to get you one day, gal. <laughs> Kim Scooby, nah, Kim Scooby yeah. and Dirk. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, fuck that man, man, fuck Dirk. Yeah. That's my man. That's my. That's my. That, that, that's family right there. We always talk bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But man, appreciate you, Slim. Appreciate you. Bro. We closing out. Yeah. Boom. Uh, my man. For sure. We out. <laughs>